はい Howdy. I still didn't get it working. I don't know what to do. Shit's just broken. I restarted it. I relogged. I did everything. I don't know what to tell you. That shit's broken. Sorry. Deal with it. Uh, I just, this just popped up on my Twitter. <laughs> There's a kid. I have to follow this account. There's an account that's weird video game ads. It literally just came up. I can't believe, I, I literally can't believe I haven't seen this before. Uh, especially considering yesterday. Um, but they posted <laughs> this mobile game. Oh, whoops, hold on. Wrong monitor. Whew, nothing leaked. Whew! You just have you guys and uh, what we're doing one night. And then my Spotify in the background. Didn't even leak my Spotify. Phew! That was close. <laughs> I live in mortal peril. That's where all my important business, no business notes are, actually. So that's actually very scary. Unironically. There's some stuff that's coming out soon, and I didn't want to show it to you yet. We're working on a lot. I'm so excited. There's some cool stuff happening. Uh, no, this was the ad. Huh? <laughs> I think I know who that man is. I think I'm pretty sure I know who that is. DDR video? Yeah, the DDR video is, uh, there was a Polygon video about the DDR world champion. And I was kind of interested. I was like, ooh, I kind of want to hear that story. It's like 15 minutes long. I was like, oh, that sounds fun. It's been in my watch later for a little bit. We're going to have a movie night some night. Maybe tomorrow? I don't like doing movie nights on Thursdays. Thursdays is for the gamers. I like gameplay on Thursday, but that's just me. Hi, everybody. Hello, claimers! Congratulations on the free sub. Congratulations to Sanity SP who has claimed it. Check that out and then souls to stand. Thank you very much. Hey, everybody. Monster today? Yeah, I didn't feel like a Red Bull. Dude, I have so many Red Bulls. I literally have probably 100 Red Bulls undrank in my fucking garage. They keep sending me more. It's nuts. But we got the monster today. Diddy Kong Racing is better than Mario Kart? No. Heavens no. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let me make sure I'm all set up. Okay, I think we're good. Happy Wednesday! Hi, Coney. Hope you read my CC tonight. Uh, apparently tonight's Cringe Confessional selections were chosen by Keen Frizzle and then approved by Vince. So, Keen, if you're here, take a bow. If not, everybody say thank you, Keen. Appreciate you. We have to have some level of moderation. Also, I was told in no uncertain terms to never go unfiltered again. <laughs> they have said, never do that again. So, I don't think I'm ever doing that again. Was fine. I thought unfiltered wasn't a big deal. It's too risky. Well, so I haven't actually looked at what uh, people are submitting. Vince has told me people are submitting like actual crimes, <laughs> like not funny stuff. People are using this like it's an actual, uh, not like uh, uh, whoa, <laughs> ooh, yeah, it's pretty bad. So maybe not anymore. Like, unfunny, fucked up shit, you know? So maybe I won't... I got lucky a few times, but... That's always the issue with React stuff. Because you want to give your genuine reaction to the first time reading it, but you got to screen some stuff. Another reason why reacting is the hardest job in the world. Dude, did you guys know... Next week is going to be crazy... 
What is this song? Okay, so I don't know if you guys know this. Okay. Sonic Frontiers comes out Tuesday, right? Sonic Frontiers on Tuesday. Thank you, Confidential to you. I claimed with my Prime. So smart. Because you don't have to pay any money. You can subscribe to the channel for free. Amazing. So we're playing this on Tuesday. We're definitely playing this. But did you know... Dude, this is the day after? Huh. Kratos is scared, bro. I bet the 8th was their original date. And it was, oh, S Sonic. Get off my date, knucklehead. Sorry, Sonic. <laughs> Get out of here, blockhead. Bozo. Tony, you laughed at Frontiers ceaselessly. Yeah, and I still pre-ordered it. I bought that shit. Why is this coming out on a Wednesday, though? The 9th is so weird. No games come out on Wednesdays. It's always Tuesday or Friday. It's so strange. I don't get it. Shut up, everybody. I'm guessing the game. I don't want this. This is a round two. Yeah. Shameful. Yeah. <laughs> mom? You're saving your mom? Finish that game. I did beat the game. I got one of the endings. Alright, let's do a couple. Knock a couple out. Assume we're gonna be done with this whole thing. Uh, that should look like Spyro, right? Oh. One of the best openings of any game, by the way. This game was amazing. This opening was it, ab absurd. It was so cool. This opening was unlike anything else in any other Mario game. I loved it. This song sounds like it's making fun of me. I don't know how to, how to explain it. Galaxy was honestly overrated overall. I mean, I'm not going to go to bat for Ode for Galaxy. I like Odyssey. Or, Jesus. I like Galaxy, but I'm not crazy about it, you know? Uh, that shit kind of looked like System Shock. I don't think it is. Is that Goldeneye? Yeah. Ew! Ew! Did it look like that? Is that really what it looked like? Thanks, Tupped, for the Prime. Oh my god! And they're here. Who gets to hear it is like, oh god, I just don't know. Who is that? Someone who he's fooled. <laughs> the master of disguise. Northern Lights? What game has Northern Lights? Oh. What? Is this April Fool's Day? You're an asshole. Are you kidding me? Oh, they wanted to make it hard because it's Dark Souls. Ah, I see. Meta. Very smart. Yeah. I think this is the Furtive Pygmy, right? That's Furtive Pygmy shit. They, I don't know what that is. That, I guess, in Orlando, right? And then Calumny. Oh, they made the last one easy. Okay. Stupid. Whatever. Cody, do you remember that game called Kill All Humans? Yeah, I remember it. I never played it, though. Someone, I think, in chat said that Kill All Humans is Gex for Zoomers. And I was like, huh. That's a really good way to describe it. I like that. Think about it. That was on Twitter? Oh, was it? I don't know. I saw somebody say it, and I was like, it stuck with me. It's good. By the way, I don't know if you guys saw this. We updated the site. Uh, 
Coney.gg is now where you can submit this stuff. We're gonna add the other stuff to it. Uh, Cringe Confessional, React Wars, everything's in one spot. So you don't have to do the thing. We're adding more here soon. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff coming out. Um, also, careers. I hate the word careers, but Vince said it's better for SEO <laughs> instead of jobs. I don't know if this is a career, but, you know, if you, uh, do that. Is the Wheelchamp form getting fixed? Yeah, we're adding Wheelchamp. I'm going to add WebSurf, even though that series is kind of dead, um, and some other stuff. But everything's going to be on here, so you just go to Coney.gg. Coney is branding. I don't even know. I'm just trying to get everything. I'm trying not to be just so disorganized, you know? I'm a fucking mess. Thanks, Boris, for the prime. All right. Uh, la, la, la. You guys want to do some cringing? Cringe together? I got to make the tweet. This song is so good. Thanks, Overdrive. I don't have a Thursday night football bounty. Those went away. What happened? Sorry, I had to write it. Tweets out, boost it, boost it, boost it, boost it, boost it. Only one like? Only three likes? Nobody likes it? Boost it! I'm abusing my influence. Apparently, you're not supposed to put the link in the tweet itself, but I always think that's bullshit. I hate this tweet. Oh, I forgot that you could dislike tweets now. I've never... I don't have the dislike tweet function. I don't know why. I never got it. I'm hoping my submission comes up today. Well, maybe. We'll see. Okay. Uh, let's get set up. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. This is always the hard part. Okay, we gotta go out. Go out. Bring this up. Yeah, uh, we do, hmm. Oh, I had to kill Little Coney. Hold on. Everybody say goodbye to Little Coney. All right, we take this out of the way because the sponsors don't want to be affiliated with this content. <laughs> we'll line this up a little better. Everybody wants Little Coney. Everybody says that. Uh, this side? Yes. I was getting mixed up. And here comes the magic. Ready? This is how I teleport into the studio. Three, two, one. Well, bam. There it is. Oh, fuck. I'm wearing blue. <laughs> uh, I don't want to fix it. I don't want to fix it. Maybe I could just... It looks green, doesn't it? It's actually blue. I promised you it's blue. Whatever, I'm gonna keep it like this. Fuck it. Okay. Honestly, enhances the effect a little bit. I think it's fun. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna turn on the effects. I don't know if you guys notice these, but these are the scan lines and the color changes. Ready? I love these. Huh? It's very subtle. Do you see it? Oh, you could definitely see it here. Look at that. It's like warped. Wow. 
Neat. All right, one second. I talked into the wire like it would hear me. I don't know why I thought that would work. Okay. Kind of strange. This looks so scuffed right now. No, it doesn't. I'm a professional. Let me try to fix... Well, is it on this side? Yes, it's on this side. Let me see. If I bring it in a little bit. I have all my Halloween candy right next to me. And by my, I mean Juliet's. She doesn't eat candy. She kind of likes chocolate, but not really. Okay. Whatever you did to fix your shirt broke the green screen. It's fine. You took candy from a baby? Yeah, but it's my baby. You're allowed to do that. The whole point of taking candy from a baby is you don't take it from other babies. I could take it from my baby. Duh. Okay, let me do this. I think this is good, right? This is a good spot. Okay. All right. Uh, Maybe if I out, go out a little bit like this. Damn, this thing is big. Yeah, you can kind of like see the green screen now. Oh my god, it's like super warped. You see? <laughs> Whatever, I like it. I like this. This is fun. Okay. It's authentic, yeah. I gotta get Monster to send me some shit. I guess Red Bull literally sends me shit. Alright, uh... No poop tonight. Run a prediction. How many stories before poop? <laughs> Five stories? Ten stories? First story? Will the first story have poop in it? I'm genuinely curious. It'll be fun. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I think we're good to go. Yup. Sorry, there's a lot of pieces to this, as you may have guessed. It's a difficult show to put on. Big, uh, big production, so. It's gonna be Coney's poop story. You would never know if it was. Try to guess which story is mine. It hasn't come up yet, and it might not, because, again, I'm not even telling the guys that screen it if it's my story or not, so nobody knows. It's a mystery. We'll notice? No, you won't. You think I'm going to blush a lot? <laughs> oh, God, they know. They know it's me. They're all mine? Could you imagine what kind of existence you would have to lead to have every single story on this show be yours? You're like Eugene from Hey Arnold. Just madness. Torture everywhere you go. What a horrific existence. What a fucked up life! Or a pathological liar. I, yeah, that's just Stephen King shit. You're coming up with stories all the time. All right, you guys ready? Oh, let me make sure I'm good. Okay, I think I'm set. Coney, why do you never read mine? Because they're not funny enough. Have more embarrassing stories, asshole. Does anybody else... You said happy Mariah season. Does anybody else hate this Mariah Carey stuff? Like, it was funny a while ago, but now she's, like, leaning into it. I don't like it anymore. 
I don't like that she's like now calling her. It was funny when she wasn't in on it. Now that she's in on it, I'm I'm annoyed. You know what I'm saying? She leans in. Yeah, have you not seen her latest tweet? She has a tweet of like, I can I get out of cringe confessional mode? Let me see. She has like a, a thing where she's on a Peloton. Hold on. Yeah. Let me see if this will work. Okay. Why is she on a fucking Peloton? She has the money to do a real bike. This has almost a million likes. Jesus Christ, dude. Get the fuck on with it, you know what I'm saying? Like... Get over it. Poor Thanksgiving. Giving, it's already forgotten. Yeah. It's a food holiday, right? I mean, that's just the, the big groceries trying to get your money. All right, let's do it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another thrilling episode of Cringe Confessional, the only show on the internet where we can explore your darkest moments and most cringe experiences. My name is Coney, and I have taken the liberty of setting up a site. It's Coney.gg. Now, if you go to my site, you can go down, and you'll see Cringe Confessional down there. And if you go there, you could submit your the worst moment of your life, the most humiliating story that you have, Give it to me! It's all fully anonymous, but it'll go into a form with thousands and thousands of poor unfortunate souls like yourself, and maybe it'll show up on the show. We're gonna go ahead and read a, a selection of a couple of these stories today. But I won't be doing it alone. I have my lovely assistant, CringeBot3000, here to help me. CringeBot, are you ready for some tales? Sure. Whatever. What's wrong, CringeBot? Why is it always cringe? Why can't we ever have uplifting stories? Some personal accomplishments, maybe a funny anecdote or two? Something nice. Well, Cringebot, I think that empathy is, is really key to the human experience. I think it's all just a, a part of being a person, you know? We bond with each other through exploring the, the pain of our lives and the validation that we get from knowing that we're not alone in the universe is a very powerful feeling. And I think that's part of the reason that the tortured artist is such an enduring symbol of our culture because it could be uh, cathartic, even exorcismal, to explore our, our darkest moments and deepest insecurities and be met with understanding and maybe even appreciation for our vulnerability. It's it's very human, Cringebot. Mao, who asked? You did. You asked. Cringe. All right. Let's get to the stories. Oh, <laughs> so it went on to the net longest intro ever. Yeah, that's fun. Dude, it went on to the next one. This says sounds for the supermarket for grocery store music. I might hold on to this playlist. This is fun. This might be my new stream intro music. I love this. <laughs> this is so nice. Okay. Sounds for the supermarket slams. Yeah, I love this. This is great. All right. Remember, over under on if there's a poop story. Let's get it going. Oh, whoops. Hold on. Okay. One more time, everybody. One more time. Can we get a round of applause for our lovely mods? Uh, I, I, I think Vince and Keen put together tonight's show. Clap it up for them. I don't know if E. Compton helped with tonight, but I know he's helped with the past. Thank you, E. Compton. E. Compton has helped with React Wars and stuff. 
Have a great team of mods. Thank you, everybody. It's hard to put on something like this, genuinely, for with all the back back end and admin. And thank God I don't have to do any of this because if I did, I wouldn't have the time. So genuinely, big ups. All right, let's do it. So I used to go to an after-school program because both my parents Latchkey were kid. working. Me too, yeah. My mom usually picked my brother and I up around 5.30 because she got out at 5. Okay. The thing about the program was that we were all in a place that was about 10 minutes away from my house. Walk or drive? It's literally just a straight walk from my house to the school. Oh, what the hell? Just walk One home? One day both my mom and dad were running late and it got dark out. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind that my street had very little street lights. <laughs> So it was really dark. How? My mom shows up and we get ready to leave. Okay. She was talking to the person in charge of attendance and told me to get in the truck. Duh. Hmm. Don't poop in the dark, please. I, 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 okay. I thought before the parents showed up that this person was going to walk home and I was like, oh, dude, this is like, this isn't a cringe story. Were you assaulted? <laughs> Did something bad happen? Is this like a Batman story? You know what I mean? But. Where is the, Where could this possibly go? I'm guessing they thought someone was their mom or dad, and it wasn't. I think that this is like, oh, hi, they climb into the wrong car. Wrong car. She was talking to the person in charge of attendance and told me to get in the truck. Uh-huh. I went to the parking lot, but I couldn't find the truck. So my eight-year-old self thought <laughs> that my mom left me. Okay. Naturally, I thought my only option was to walk home. I wasn't a big deal. Oh my god. Dude, if I was your mom, I would kill you. Holy shit. Natural. At least it wasn't until I look back and see one of the staff running after me. Dude, are you serious? It Eight years old? The crap out of me. I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> I ended up getting dragged back into the after school program building. Oh my not god. Before biting and scratching the poor dude that had to run after me. Oh, I get that. I still yeah. feel bad about it to this day. You should. No, that that's pretty that's a pretty good story. That's pretty good. So you just your mom told you to get in the car and you said, "Fuck that, I'm walking home." <laughs> I'm leaving right now. I mean, if you could just walk home, why is your mom picking you up anyway, you know? It's not that cringe. I I, I there are worse stories. I got dared. I was in an after-school program in fifth grade, and this awakes. This is part of the reason I love cringe confessional. I could just tell my stories and you guys awake memories within me. Uh, I, I once, uh, there was a, there was an after school daycare. I was like eight or nine years old or something. Um, and I got dared to, uh, slap the assistant who was helping the, uh, helping the, the daycare workers that day or whatever on the butt. And I did it and I got in a lot of trouble. Not, I said slap, and you thought, like, physically, like, harm them. No, I just hit her on the ass. Yeah. I got in a lot of trouble. And it wasn't even, like, in a weird way. I just didn't know what I was doing. I was like, sure. Why? Because everybody thought she was pretty, and they thought it would be a funny thing to do. Yeah, I... Uh, she didn't care that much, but it. looking back, I... Yeah, I wish I didn't do that. You were the jam sessions kid. Yeah. Yeah, I was... I, it, hey, that's the power of peer pressure, you know? What was I supposed to do? Everybody told me to. Cody admits to assault. There's like a statute of limitations on that. I was nine. That's 25 years ago. Oh my God. <laughs> Aware. That's a quarter of a century ago. You'll never get me on that. Oh my God. Fuck. Anyway, no, this isn't cringe. You thought you were in mortal peril and you were gonna, you were gonna beat this person up. I get it. It makes sense. Not cringe. Me and this girl talked to each other before COVID happened, but we never got to really know each other. Wait, is this the one that I... This kid... There's a lot of COVID stories. You guys remember the one from the last time about the guy that didn't get the girl's number? That one still haunts me. I still think about that. Me and... So I decided to send her an email because I didn't have her contact information. Now this is, a, this is an extension of the last one. chatting over emails like it was texting. Cool. I had liked this girl for a bit, and I finally decided to tell her. Uh-huh. Through email. I got rejected, and she said she wanted to just be friends. Ooh. I decided she told from you. that day forward to never speak to her again. Oh, and you met her. Oh. <laughs> Did you meet her and her boyfriend? But that's not where the story ends. Clearly. 
Over two years later, I was out on a walk to pick my brothers up from school. And guess well, who I see well, also well, picking destiny. their siblings up? You belong together! I decided to walk away slowly as I walked my brothers home and the worst thing happened. What? She called my name really loud to where it would be a douche move if I ignored it. Well, hold on. If she called you, it's not that bad. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. If she called you, it's fine. No, she wanted she wanted the interaction. This is fine. You're fine. So I turned around and she gave me a hug in front of every single person picking their children up. Sure. She said she missed me and I just responded saying that I did Aww, too. Aw, that's sweet. She told me, you don't still like me, do you? And this isn't a quiet statement. Oh, that it bitch! It was very loud and known to everyone in the vicinity. What? I got tricked. I thought she was being nice to you. This is an AWOL moment. She actually got you. She trapped you, bro. She tricked you. She got you. She got me. I fell for it. Unbelievable. Her siren charms. I got hit but for relationships. Not even a relationship. That's the worst part. Jesus. She told me, you don't still like me, do you? And this isn't a quiet statement. What a thing to say! It was very loud and known to Good everyone Lord. in the vicinity. I got a surge of anger right now. I feel like this is irresponsible for me to stream. I'm gonna become Andrew Tate too. Like I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm breeding a new generation of incels. <laughs> this is irresponsible. I quickly responded no and said some cringe thing like safe travels <laughs> or some other cringe saying. Bon voyage. Ta-ta for now. <laughs> you bounce off like Tigger. What a cool guy. My little brothers told my mom when we no! got home about it. And I went to my room immediately. To top off the cake, she sent me a winky face in an email, as I still use the same email. Dude! What a bitch! Wow! Wow! Why would she do that to you? All I can assume is that you're a piece of shit. <laughs> I believe women. And I think that you did something to piss her off and she's getting back at you. She's being petty. You're an asshole. <laughs> I'm on her side. I'm with her. <laughs> I don't know what to think. I'm, 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 I'm swinging on the pendulum of political correctness here. What am I supposed to think? <laughs> I'm on her side picking. <laughs> to be fair, he literally stopped emailing her. I uh, I don't know. Not cringe, just a bitch. Oh, this is cringe. He literally ghosted her. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but how much of a friend did he really want to be? Uh, I don't know. I, I can't speak toward the experience of being a woman. But I feel like if I rejected a guy and he ghosted me, I'd be like... Okay, yeah, whatever, I get it. But at the same time, it's got to be really annoying to be a woman and have guys only interested in you for that. And, and, like, you can't just be like, hey, let's be friends and have them still just be friends. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Wasn't interested in a friendship, not as fault. Yeah, but for women, that's got to suck, right? I get it on both sides. But the smiley face is over the line. <laughs> That was pretty fucked up. Also announcing it to everybody there. That's, uh, that's toxic. Yeah, the smiley face is insane behavior. No question. The smiley face is crazy. Winky face, even. That's worse. Good lord. Winking? Good story. Pretty cringe. When I was in sixth grade... My class's homeroom teacher told us about the game Dead Arm. I know I learned about a dead arm too in sixth grade, but I didn't. It wasn't a game. It certainly wasn't something you taught in the schools. For those who don't know, Dead Arm is a game where two people punch each other on the shoulder until it goes numb or limp. What? Hence the name. I've never heard of that. Really? Yeah, what kind of fucking teacher was this? This should be disbarred. Who would teach children this? <laughs> what the fuck is this teacher doing? That's what I'm saying, uh, huh? Nerve damage. Who's doing this? I've never heard of this game. 
I grew up in a civilized society, the East Coast. One day, we were playing dead arm before class in home what? home and another teacher asked us what we were doing. I decided I would show her so I said it's dead arm, where you punch each other like this and you went politely the demonstrate. Did you hit her in the boob? And as yeah, the yeah. stupid sixth grader I was, I missed. And right hooked my teacher directly in the boob. <laughs> Oh, you got the titty punch. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's tough. That, oh, that makes it weird for everyone. Weird for her. Weird for you. Weird for the people watching. It's weird enough that you tried to punch her, but let alone the fact that you hit her in... Oh, my God. All right, what happened then? No one spoke to me for the rest <laughs> of the day. Oh, I honestly, you got off easy. Just the rest of the day? I feel like I would cut you out of my life at that point. That kid just punched the teacher in the tit. He made us all embarrassed. If I was, like, playing dead arm with you and you did that, I would undo, undo. We're not friends. Undo. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Instant rock star? I, oh, my God, dude. Sixth grade, so you're like 12 here. At least you knew to be shameful about it. Yeah, somebody pointed out this is the third uh, third story of the night and the second story involving assaulting women. <laughs> hmm. Wait, that's not true. We don't know if the first person was a woman, do we? Getting a pretty clear picture of my audience here. Can we make it three? <laughs> Do we have a theme of the evening? Yeah, there's no poop at least. I I don't know. Hitting hitting a teacher on the boob is a pretty that's it's, it's going to be hard to top that. It's pretty good. Cuz she doesn't know how to respond either. She knows it's an accident, but also she can't be like, "Oh, it's okay," you know. One time when I was 14, I went on a rugby trip to play games in the UK against good clubs and teams. Flex. We were traveling in a bus and staying in hostels and bunk houses. I've never stayed in a hostel. That is a uniquely European experience. What's that like? Do I have any European viewers? Anybody out there? I guess this guy. They sound gross? Yeah, that sounds disgusting. It's like summer camp? Yeah! Jesus. One night, me and five other boys are in our room after lights out, cracking jokes. Being outrageous, outrageous, and in general saying some outright slanderous things. Outrageous? I don't know why that word is so funny to me. Me and my mates are being outrageous. <laughs> we in the hostel being outrageous, being damn rock slanderous. Okay, what happened next? I, I think this is a slur moment. I think you said something you shouldn't have, and somebody walked in the room. In the dark, I grabbed my bottle of yope and made the <laughs> gesture of shoving into my own ass. Outrageous! It was a good laugh. The next morning, one ratty kid told everyone else that uh -huh. at night I fucked my own ass with a yolk bottle and got IT up my bit hole. How did the TTS get an accent? What a British story. Even the TTS got an accent on this one. What is a yop bottle, by the way? I've never heard of this. A yop bottle. It, oh, yop is a drink? Oh, it's like Yoohoo's. Drinkable yogurt. Yoop. Yoop. Right up the butthole. <laughs> There's something about this just being on the screen. Uh, so a kid told, told people that that happened. I mean, you were being pretty outrageous, honestly. No matter how much I defended myself, <laughs> the kids were relentless with the teasing. And I was known as Yoke Bass for at least two weeks. Sure. Yeah. I mean, there's always, like, a very fine line when you go outrageous outrageous, and do slanderous things. Like, you can't go too far or all your mates are going to make fun of you, right? I feel like you got to be a little bit, you got to hold back a little bit. There's always one kid that takes it too far, and I think that was you. Pretty cringe, honestly. Also, you're, like, 14, so everybody's, like, making gay jokes, and, you know, it's just... Not a good spot to be in. That was a, a a miscalculation on your part. Tactical error, honestly. 
Hey, no poop. Hey, what is that, the fifth story? No poop. Keen. Bang up job. Got a, got a yacht bottle up the ass, but no poop. Does that count as a poop story? No. <laughs> what are you talking about? At an early age, I spent a lot of my time trying to make content for YouTube. I believe it. We talked about this on a, on a stream before. Hey, chat, press one if you've done it. Be honest. How many of you have Let's Played alone in your room or pretended you were PewDiePie or Markiplier? I think you have. Shaquille O'Neal's on my Alexa again. Sunny with a 110% chance of fun. I'm impressed. What else can you do? Not everything that Dude, every once in a while, Shaq just starts talking to my Alexa and they have a conversation among themselves without me. Plus, you can ask me for some reps or sports updates and more. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks. It's good to be on your team. If you'd like to hear more from Shaq, you can enable his voice with a one time. Why do they do. Shaq, I, I swear to God, this isn't a joke. Hold on. Every once in a while, Shaquille O'Neal will, will bring himself onto my Alexa and try to sell his app. It's like once a month. And he just shows up and says, hey, I'm gonna, I'm here to make your speakers bounce. And then he talks to my Alexa. I don't know why he does this. He's haunting me. If you'd like to hear more from Shaq, you can enable no. voice with a payment of four. Ale cancel Shaq. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding. Alexa. No. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. No thanks. <laughs> Ta-da. He shows up, like, once a month, and he just starts yelling at me. My, it's, uh, It literally only tells the time. That's the only thing I do that I use that for. I don't know what the fuck his problem is. He has a whole conversation with my Alexa. Okay. All right, sorry. Uh, anyway, yeah, I think everybody did this except me because I I was not of that generation. I would have, though. That definitely would have been me. At an early age. Oh, actually, I, I pretended to be a pro wrestler. So, actually, I did do something like this. I would, like, wrestle my beanbag and do, like, moonsaults and shit off my bed. Yeah. I made Let's Plays and such and still have them up to this day to remember the cringe. Cool. More importantly, though... I literally mentioned it to everyone I could, Aww. trying to get big. Sending people One your time channel? In class, we had to make a Google presentation about video game design. And huh? I had tried to purposefully work in an indie game I played on my channel into the piece. What it was? It I was the game. I ended the presentation with a link I to my know what channel the game was. and sent it to the classmates as were part of the requirements. Okay. I then later got pulled aside by the teacher and was informed I was going to get an F on the assignment if I didn't remove the final tab that just linked to my channel. Since she considered it to be not relevant to the assignment. Wait. Needless to say, I took the F. <laughs> Actually based. Actually based. Hey, you gotta make some sacrifices to blow up. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna appreciate that decision when you're the next Mr. Beast. That's a Darman moment. Yup. <laughs> the final tab that linked to the channel. Honestly, your teacher's an asshole. Uh, you put in all that work, it's not relevant to the assignment. Who cares? What a shithead teacher, genuinely. That was Coney's confessional. <laughs> that means I would have done this at like 20 years old in college. <laughs> I want to know what the indie game was. Do you still have this? Could you DM this to me? It, uh, listen, if you still have this video... I promise I will not leak your identity. Could you please link me the video? If you don't want to do it, that's fine. I just want to see it myself. Please link your channel. What I'll do is I'll put up the video so that it doesn't have your name on it. It'll be our little secret, but I kind of want to see it. I'm curious. I want to know what the game was, too. I can't believe she get that teacher. Uh, see how I go to she? Man, got some internalized misogyny. I don't know why the teacher would give you an F right away. Just dock some points. You know what I'm saying? Stupid. You don't say. <laughs> I'm going to kind of go and mask off a little bit. By the way, still no poop. Pretty good. 
I don't think this one's cringe. I feel like you're going to have more and more stories like this. And teachers are going to have to be more, oh, dude, one day you're going to have teachers that used to do this. You probably already do. There are teachers that wanted to be Let's Players. They would get it. You were just in the wrong generation. When I was 18, I had a massive crush on... Hold on. We need to change it up. Uh, we go Peter. Actually, no. We go Will. We go Will here. When I was 18, I had a massive crush on a co-worker. Uh-huh. I eventually worked up the nerve to ask her out and we started dating. Love story, Everything no was going great except for the fact that she didn't want to sleep with me. Okay. Not for Take religious regions. She was just nervous. Oh, okay. I waited months and months until eventually my parents went out of town uh, and she agreed to stay over for the night. Uh, we played Mario Kart and had some drinks. Great start. We polished off a bottle of wine Damn. and then started doing shots. Somebody threw up. That's too much. I saw some drinks and I was like, okay, bottle of wine, oh, it's a little much. Started doing shots, it's vomit. It's, it's vomit 100%. It's a vomit story. Out of the blue, she proposed that if I could down four shots, then she would consider sleeping with me. She was trying to knock you out, AWOL. She was trying to knock you the fuck out. I'm not sleeping with this bozo. <laughs> Go to sleep. She tried to turn your brain off. <laughs> she hit you with the sunken place. Sink into the floor. Drink these four shots, bro. What does AWOL mean? <laughs> oh, new viewer. Actually, a, a, a lot of the YouTube audience doesn't know. What does AWOL mean, chat? All women often lie. Which is apparently the theme of this series. As we know. Anytime a woman shows interest in you or is or it, it seems like she's into you or is trying to, to trying to get you to make a move, it's a trick. It's always a trap. Don't fall for it. No woman is interested in you, nor will they ever be. They're just trying to, to fool you. All of their best friends are hiding right behind a wall, and as soon as you give in, they're all going to pop out and laugh at you. So, you know, be alone forever. <laughs> be Sigma based like all of us oh no this isn't even a Sigma moment you're not trying to attract anyone you're not even trying to the, the point is it to like allure or attract people to you it's to not interact with anyone ever first time catching a stream and I immediately learned twitch only secrets hey it is but a taste of the arcade knowledge you will be uh, you will you will find here on the stream that's Sigma. No. No, this is actually a rarer. It's, uh, Menma. Me I almost said Megma, which is close to Spegma. <laughs> Sigma balls. Ligma ball. Shroomer male. Zeta male. Sorry you guys got ads, but it's November. I gave you ad-free viewing for React Wars, and that shit's over. So, consider subscribing. Midsummer mail. <laughs> Out of the blue, she proposed that if I could down consider. four shots, then she would consider sleeping with me. You threw Without up. hesitation, I finished the four shots and then even drank a fifth just to show you off. Passed out on top of her. The last thing I remember was being in oh, bed with man. her, she watching her getting undressed before I blacked out completely. So, yeah, she tricked you. She got you. Yeah. She got your ass. House robbed? <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't even think about that. You're in your house. You got long conned. Wait a minute. Bro, woke up in a bathtub with a scar. See a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, uh, th that's kind of fucked up, honestly. She got your ass. The next thing I remember, I was sitting hunched over the toilet. Wearing different Did clothes than Did I'd been poop? wearing Did early. he poop? She told me that five minutes after we'd started spooning, I'd passed out momentarily before aggressively vomiting all over her as well as myself. Sure, yeah. She'd had to clean me up, Aww. change both of our clothes, and then drag me into the washroom oh, that's while sweet, I was though. completely incoherent. You? 
She texted me the next morning that it was over and then I had to work alongside her for the next year until I eventually quit. Dude! Come on, man! She told you to take four shots. You took five to impress her because she kept saying that. Dude, uh... I hate women now. This, that does it. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to become the Andrew Tate of Twitch. That's my new thing. I'm going to get somebody to give me a massage and smoke a cigar the whole time. They can't ban two of us. Is that it? That's it. That's the end of the story. Okay. Damn, so, so she was playing chicken with you. You had to keep working with her until you quit. But she wasn't going to leave. <laughs> she had this story in her back pocket, probably told it to everybody at work. Damn, dude. Everybody knew about that. That's fucked up. Oh. Oh, by the way, sorry if you guys uh, got ads. I think you guys are out of it. Hey, I don't. I, my bad. Uh, there's a way to get around ads. You're not going to like it, but there is a way. It's very simple, and it's free if you have Prime. I had ads turned off toward the uh, the end of October, but I had to put them back on for November, so you didn't know how good you had it. Thank you, Tisadu. Tisadu? Tis Tisadu? Tisadu. Thanks for the Prime. I hate women should be a new command. No, I don't want to make that a regular thing. This is a cringe confessional moment only. No, 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 no. In like eighth grade, I was really, <laughs> really into beatboxing. Oh, that's the end so, of the story. That's actually, like this is it. It ends here. That's all. I actually have a beatboxing story. Uh, I don't want to tell it. That's stupid. Never mind. Let's keep going. In like, so every chance I got when I thought no one would hear me, I would start making beatboxing noises to practice. Cool. I was so bad at telling when people could hear me that I'm certain anyone in my classes knew what I was doing. Wait, so you were beatboxing, but also you had no knowledge of the, the volume of your own voice? So you're just walking around just... <laughs> Just beatboxing to yourself, like, very loudly at, like, 30 decibels <laughs> mid-class. Huh? One day after a class walking down the hall, I was trying to make this disgusting snorting farting sound while right behind some girl. <laughs> he thought she couldn't hear him. He just... <laughs> Ugh, what the fuck? Jeremy! Stop! Yuck! She'll never know. One, she turns around and yells <laughs> at me, Are you sniffing my hair? Me, still trying to be secretive about my beatboxing, <laughs> responded with, I'm trying something. I That's tried way to keep worse. my head down, but I got a glance That's at her face worse. and it's the most disgusted I've ever seen someone look. That's so much- You should have said you were sniffing her hair. You should have said you were sniffing her hair and trying to go for the most odorous one. You try to find the best smelling lock of her hair so you could clip it off and keep it as a keepsake. That would have been way less weird than whatever you were doing. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck, dude. I'm trying something. Speech one failure. This is a critical miss. Oh my God. Oh, that's it. That's the end. Oh my God. You know what, though? Maybe that story lives and dies with her. Maybe she didn't tell anybody. That's not too bad. Well, if she, she was yelling She turns around it, and yells at me, Are you sniffing my hair? What's the splash damage on this? Right? Like, how many people know about this? I'm wondering. Is the hallway, like, packed? She told all her friends for sure. Uh, maybe. I mean, I, I thought this would just be a beatboxing moment, but it's... Why are you... Wait, uh, what? I would what so sound? I reach, I, one day I, what is this disgusting snorting farting sound we were trying to make? <laughs> trying to like... 
Like, what were you doing? I want to know what it was. <laughs> How do you snort and fart at the same time? I guess he doesn't know. He was trying it too. Yeah. Well, I hope you got the sound. That's a good story. Good tale. Thanks for writing in. Hold on. I, I, I think. Hold on. One second. Hold on. Give me one second. I might have a cringe confessional story of my own. Oh, thank God. I have a window right here. Uh, and, and I leave my window open when I work throughout the day so I get some fresh air. Um, but my neighbors are often outside. And sometimes I realize that my window is open while I stream. Um, <laughs> my windows, my, my neighbors would not understand. Sometimes I'm embarrassed enough because you can see the chat out of the window. So if somebody's like out there, they might have seen you. <laughs> Which is embarrassing enough. Imagine looking into your neighbor, Zach, right? Who you don't know much about. Zach is kind of a quiet guy. He doesn't talk too much. You know, he's nice and all, but he just doesn't interact much. And you look in to his back window, and the TV has just a wall of these. You don't even know who Dr. Disrespect is. Hey, Mallory, is your husband a woman hater? I didn't even think about that. <laughs> hey, Mal, uh, last night on stream... Zach was saying that all women often lie. Do you know what's going on there? Are you guys okay? <laughs> okay. I was a really weedy antisocial kid in middle school. Weedy? I played the viola. I guess weedy is an adjective. I never hear it, though. I played the viola. Why ask Mallory if all women often lie? Well, women... If they both lie, it cancels out. If my woman neighbor asks Mallory, they'll somehow tell the truth. It's like that riddle with the two doors. <laughs> I played the viola in the school orchestra and was usually seated next to a girl I sort of liked. Uh -huh. But mostly just because she was a girl. Anyway. <laughs> that was so dramatic. Why did it say it like that? She was a girl. I want to hear that again. I played the viola in the school orchestra and was usually seated next to a girl I sort of liked, read. but mostly just because she was a girl. That's a really good read. It didn't even come out like a question. By the way, thank you, Maddie Slays, for the gifties. I didn't say that. Thank you for the two gifties and then two more. Appreciate it. Bro, we're almost at 2,800. I never do this. If you have a prime, drop it now, okay? I won't do this for the rest of the stream, and I haven't done it yet. If you have a Prime, please consider dropping it. Otherwise, you're going to get pelted by those ads at the funniest point of the stream. I played the viola. Anyway, we were rehearsing something one day, That's and I the... suddenly had to sneeze. Uh-oh! I quickly buried my face in my elbow, did the deed, and kept playing afterward. Sure. But couldn't shake the fear that something was wrong. Oh, you got a After another minute or so, right. the song was over, you and the girl sprayed. next to me slowly smeared something oh! off of her cheek. The back of her hand. I had somehow perfectly aimed oh! my snot at this girl's face when I let the sneeze rip, and oh, she just no! powered through it as long as she had to. Headshot. She never treated me any differently, but it haunted me for the rest of my life. Is it worse or better when they don't acknowledge it? I don't know. What a trooper. What a true professional that girl is. She could have been your wife. She would have been with you through thick and thin. If you would have just not sneezed on her, you guys would have been together forever. She could deal with anything. What a fucking angel. Yeah. I don't know what's worse, if they get mad about it or if they don't care. I think if they don't care. You guys ever hang out with friends and then, like, you're talking and then one of the friends, like, spits out food or something during the conversation and there's that weird moment of, like, do we... I know we don't acknowledge it, but... You know, you, you just keep going, but it feels weird to not acknowledge. You know what I'm saying? It gets weird. Uh, okay. But you don't want to, like, laugh because then the whole focus is taken off of the whole... You know what I'm saying? But that's friends, not strangers. Oh. That's nasty. You guys point it out? I don't point it out. I think that's annoying. If I'm talking with friends and they're telling a story or something and they spit something out... I just, like, my eyes shift, and I see it, and then I just keep, you know? 
Depends on the friend, I guess. In all caps, highlighted message. <laughs> I had to make sure. I had to make sure that everybody saw that. Yeah, it is written. It is. It's been decided. You have spoken. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, that's a pretty good story. That's the end. Honestly, not that bad. Uh, I think it happens to everybody, but it feels like it only happens to you. God, what a trooper, though. What a girl. Man. When I was 17, I was in a prestigious singing program Flex. that only selected eight students from the entire county. Wow, look at you! This girl named Laura and I in the program were given a duet. And we spent time outside Ooh. the program to practice it at her house. Blossoming romance. She asked if we could go see a movie. And I said, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm waiting at the mall. And her mom's car pulls up to drop her off. Cool. Laura steps out of the car and looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh, like a dream. Really dressed up and pretty. Maki up looking perfect. Her hair done up all <laughs> nice. Just really putting in effort to look good. You showed up in your pajamas, and the fall is going to be terrible. Yeah, you showed up in pajamas and a Super Mario t-shirt. You had on the Legend of Zelda fit. Gamer shirt, yeah. I paused my game for this? Sarcasm, just one of the many services I offer. You know, one of those. There's two problems, though. I didn't know this was a date, <gasps> and I already have a girlfriend. Well, 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 now you got two girlfriends! Well, 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 <laughs> you lucky duck. I figured the best strategy would be to just immediately let her know I messed up and explain uh, I have a girlfriend tough. and apologize that's for the tough. misunderstanding. That's so tough, she just... Oh, do you tell her at the beginning? Oh, man, what do you do here? Why would you go see a movie with her? Yeah, I, this is... You lacked foresight here. You know what separates the animals, us from the animals, is, like, being able to know how an action now will affect us down the line. Are you a pig? <laughs> are you a... Are you, are you a human being? Hmm? How did you not know this? You should have known this would happen. No foresight on this, huh? That's so strange. Honestly, what do you do here? Do you explain it right away or do you wait? I feel like I would wait, but that might make it worse. Right? I wouldn't get the chance to do it that way. Wait, I what? figured Did I the something? best strategy would be to just immediately let her know I oh, messed I up and explain Did I have I a girlfriend something? and apologize for uh -huh. the misunderstanding. Sure. I wouldn't get the chance to do it that way. Why not? I get a phone call. <gasps> it's from my girlfriend. What? I can't remember what it was about, but I remember saying I love you in a way that was very obviously oh, not towards a family well, member or something, Lord. and saw all the happiness <laughs> drain from oh, Laura's no, face. Laura! I hang up the phone and have no idea what to say. Oh, dude. I apologize and say I really didn't know. Oh. I thought she that says, would be a good out. Just oh, no, 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 no. We watch the movie, no! say nothing after, and she oh, leaves without saying goodbye. You broke her heart. This story has a happy ending at least. What? We made up eventually and are still friends to this day. That's a shit. We ending. still That's see movies movie. regularly what? together. And I'm planning on asking her out oh, on a proper kind of, date soon. Oh, okay, that's kind of nice then. Okay, so you're more than friends, or at least you want it to be more than friends. Okay, what uh, twists and turns here? Were you into her from the beginning then? I'm so confused. Like, uh, this is a how I met your mother moment, right? Isn't it? this literally sounds like it's from the, I need an update on this. Yeah, how'd the date go? Bro, she's tricking you, AWOL. She's going to show up at the date, and she's going to have her phone in her hand waiting for you to walk in. She's going to go like this. And then the second you walk into the mall, I love you. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I didn't know. You're going to get fucking reverse aronied. You're going to get tricked. Revenge. <laughs> you are going to get Ralph Wiggumed. I don't like you. I never liked you. You're getting Ralph Wiggum, bro. I'm telling you. 
You're fucking done. <laughs> oh my god. That Ralph was spot on. I've watched I've watched this show like 50 times, dude. Front to back. Amazing show. Okay. Uh that's a great story. Lots of twists and turns. Excellent. Excellent story. Truly. Terrific. Uh I <laughs> I thought that the I love you would give you a good way out. I really did. I was like, oh, you know, saying I love you, and then you can, like, explain, like, oh, yeah, that was my girlfriend. Oh, yeah, I have a girlfriend. You didn't know I had a girlfriend? You know, like, try to, I don't know. I guess you read the you read the signs of her hair being, I, there's no way out of this one. I think you kind of blew this one. This is on you for not making it clear before, I guess. By the way, again, still no poop. Hey, King kind of killed it this week. Not a single poop story. Until. <laughs> Are you guys still both good singers? That'd be fun. You guys could like start a band like Jack and Meg White, you know? When I was little, around eight or nine, I was at a friend's birthday party. <laughs> we were all in his garage fucking around with a light bulb. What the fuck? Do people do this? What do you mean fucking around with a light bulb? Like, tossing it? Somebody's gonna get hurt. We would pass it around, and <laughs> jokingly say I have an idea, and then do something slightly funny. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny. That's actually a really funny game. Never mind, this is very funny. This is great. Small town moment? Yeah, this is like the number one game in Omaha, Nebraska. This is the most fun game you could play in Kentucky. This is great, actually. This is very funny. This is this sounds like an improv game. You know what I mean? They were being silly and outrageous. Yeah, doing some quite slanderous things. He's going to put the light bulb up of his asshole. <laughs> I have an idea. That's that's a that's not a cool idea. No. We would Dude, the yacht bottle is still sticking with me. Being outrageous. <laughs> we would pass it around. By the way, I just realized if uh, me saying that out of nowhere, if you weren't here for the earlier story, that's got to sound really weird. Listen, there was a story earlier about a yogurt bottle and a kid did that uh oh fuck. <laughs> it's a long story. I promise that was not unprompted, okay? <laughs> Sorry. We would pass it around. This is a funny and joke. This is a funny say game. I have a, now. I don't know why, but little kid me oh, decided wait, I was right. to take the don't light do it. bulb. Say I've got an idea. <laughs> then proceed to throw the light bulb on the ground and shatter it. <laughs> you ruined the game for everybody. Not only was it not cool, you also ruined the game and and it, it, you could injure someone. That's not a cool idea. Directly afterwards, I frantically pleaded <laughs> for everyone not to snitch. <laughs> Wait. When I... We... Direct oh, that's weird. It doesn't read the last part of the story because it's in parentheses. If it's in parentheses, it won't read it. Hold on. We... Now, we would pass it. We... So it Directly does afterwards, There's I one frantically more sentence. pleaded for everyone not to snitch. We left the shattered remains of the light bulb there, and I never heard anything about it again. This is very much a little kid moment, where you and your friends are having fun, and you maybe get a little bit too excited, and then you do something that ruins it for everybody. That seems to happen. You know, you, you just took it too far. Same with the guy earlier, actually, with the yacht bottle. This is the same story. It's the same thing here. A little too outrageous, a little too excited, too much cake and ice cream. At the birthday party. Somebody said neutral ending. <laughs> Nobody ever knew about the uh, the light bulb that day. I mean, light bulbs can be kind of dangerous, right? Like, that's a lot of shards. But if you're in the garage, people wear shoes in the garage, right? I don't know. You probably injured someone. Whose garage? Friend's birthday party. Oh, yeah. His dad got his foot fucked up. <laughs> but his dad probably thought it was his fault. You got away with it. Good ending.
Hey Coney. Hi. One time when I was around six years old, I was watching a Disney Channel original cool. movie. The commercial break had just passed. I really had to pee, uh -huh. and I was so infatuated by this movie. Okay. I cannot remember what this movie was, or what was so interesting about it, uh -huh. but I could not take my eyes off of it. Okay, we had a good run. We had a good run. We made it an hour and ten minutes into the stream, but unfortunately, I think our time of uh, excrement-free viewing has come to an end. But I also had to pee. So bad. Really bad. Really bad, A yeah. solution comes to mind. <laughs> I'm going to pee out of the window. Okay. Now that's a cool idea. This solution is quickly thrown away because I am too short to reach the window and pee out of it. Oh, you're six. Can you stand on a chair? I'm panicking. I have yeah. to pee, but this movie is just so good. I can't miss a second of it. It's a Disney Channel original movie? It's not even an actual Disney movie? This is, this is just a fucking... It's High School Musical? Brink? Camp Rock? Even Stevens the movie? So we have to remember, this had to be before like DVR or pausing live TV, right? Jonas Brothers, Sky High, Goofy Movie? No, that's not a... Di ah. What could it... Lizzie McGuire? What could it be? Man. Now I'm curious. I guess they don't know. And then, it hits me. The closet. No! I decide to piss on my closet floor and continue watching the movie. Why? I am a genius, I think to what myself. What the fuck? Wrong. My mom found out the next day. Grounded me for a month. Put a sign on my closet door that said, Do not pee in the closet. That was too high up for me to reach. My closet had a residue pee smell for a while. I had friends come <laughs> over who saw the sign and my mom had to explain it to she them as well. She would take it down for your friends? She would take it down? Oh my god. What a brutal mom. She wouldn't even take it down for your friend. She wanted you humiliated. She tried to ruin your life. That's fucked up. I mean, when you're six years old, you can't pee that much. It's not going to ruin the floorboards or anything, right? It's not that bad. Jesus, Mom. She was teaching you a lesson. I hope you had a tall friend that could rip that shit off the closet. <laughs> what kills me is she thought that was necessary. Like, you were going to go do it again, and you see the sign, you're like, ah, right, right, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> Mom, please take the sign down. Mom, please. Mom, you don't understand. Shia LaBeouf is a vision in Even Stevens, the movie. <laughs> His performance is not to be missed. A revelation. Honestly, dude, he became, like, one of the best actors of our time. So I get it. I understand. The pee was there overnight. Oh, my God. I used to spit on my floor. I don't know why. I think I saw it on The Simpsons once. There's, again, it all comes back to The Simpsons. Bart does it. He's like, yeah, we're middle class. I could do this, too. And I don't remember why I did it. I think I was, I, I, I think I did it, like, twice. And I was like, that's weird. I shouldn't do that anymore. You know what I'm saying? Why did bro not pause the movie? See, this is a generational diff. You don't understand. You don't get it. Coney, you were not middle class. No, that's what they say on the show. That's what Bart says. He says, we're middle class. It means I can spit on the floor. I think it's a quote like that or something. I don't even remember the, the context. We were middle class, I think. No, we were middle class. I just had a mom that, that made a lot of money. She was a single mom, though, and I was a single kid, so pay out. Yeah, I don't know. I, I yeah, I, I I don't know what the play is here. I really want to know what the movie was. I've never been this excited to watch a movie, let alone a Disney Channel original movie. Did you not like? Wait, the commercial break had just passed. I really need to be okay. I have a question. Never mind. This is stupid.
I was gonna say, do you think in all my years of streaming, I've been streaming like seven, eight years, do you think this has been anybody in chat ever? Somebody who really had to pee but couldn't, and maybe not peeing in the closet, but maybe, you know, going in a bottle or something? Surely one viewer has done it. If I average a bit over a thousand, depending on the stream, you know, I average like 1500 maybe, surely one person has been so enthralled with Coney content that they've peed in a bottle. Right? <laughs> what if somebody on YouTube did it? I can't pause. YouTube, have you ever done it? Comment below if you've ever peed in a bottle to a Coney YouTube video. <laughs> Uh, this is stupid. This is so dumb. This is a dumb, dumb, dumb part of the stream. When Please I Please abandon this bit. I'm doing it. I'm getting off it. Shut up. <laughs> when I was eight, I went to a water resort with my family. I want, I want, I want an emote of like a cyanide pill for shitty bits that I get myself on. It's just like bite the pill. <laughs> and we got to end this bit. Go, go. Abort, abort mission, abort mission. <laughs> Just get rid of it, get rid of it. <laughs> I guess that's literally undo. <laughs> kill the bit, kill the bit, it's over. Okay. When I was eight, I went to a water resort with my family. Uh-huh. After a few slides and time in the wave pool, Kalahari's fun, we by the saw way. one water slide that was normally extremely packed with a really short Ooh, line. Somebody dumped I had the, to use the, the bathroom pool, right? at the time, oh my God. but I knew we couldn't miss this opportunity, so I tried to hold it in. Keen, I want you to know you did a great job tonight, but you can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. Maybe you should have spaced them out a little bit, huh? Two in a row, Keen? Come on. We can't hold it in. We held in the peace stories as long as we could. But now here comes the flood. I had to use the bathroom at the time. Oh, but I knew God. we couldn't miss this opportunity. So uh, I tried to hold it in. Uh -huh. Cut to near the end of the line. Multiple flights of stairs up later. And my need to pee was becoming extreme. And at this point, Bro. we were so close to the end of the line, and there were so many people behind us that uh -huh. I could not leave the line, yeah. so I just yeah. had to keep holding it in. Mm -hmm. Well, eventually, I couldn't hold it oh in, my God. and I had to let oh it Oh my free. God, and you're in the line, so everybody knows who you are, and they've been standing with you for a while, so you have this shared sense of identity, so they know who you are, and you got to keep waiting in the line. All I could do was stand oh. in complete no. The liquid dripped down my legs. Oh, like a sim. Like the sims do if you don't take them to the bathroom. Eventually it just happens, and then they start crying in their hands. Oh, God. All I could, because of the additional water also dripping, oh. no one around me even noticed I was peeing. Oh. That's okay. No, I was, I, I was actually going to suggest this. Like, if you're that age, if your pants are, like, still dripping, like, you just got off a slide, you can just pee down your leg. It's fine. It's not ideal. You don't want that. The issue here is, did somebody smell it? When the ride was over, oh. my family headed to the bathroom, oh. <laughs> but I Nobody suddenly knew. didn't have to go. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's not cringe. You were a kid who had to pee. That's fine. What if it's dark yellow? <laughs> okay, well, then, I don't know if anybody's looking. Right? Wait, is the ending in parentheses? No, okay, I was looking. Whew! No, it's a good ending. This isn't cringe. You're just a kid that had to pee. It's fine. It's gross, but whatever. Right? If you're a kid, you can pee in the pool. It's not that you can, it's that... It's not the worst thing in the world. Also, he didn't pee in the pool. He peed on the stairs up to the pool. It's fine. It's not that you, you should, it's just... Come on, man. You're fooling yourself if you don't think kids are doing that anyway, right? It's fine. It's not that you could, it's that you should. It, you should not. No. Although, I'm not going to judge you. If you're a kid and you only have like six hours at the water park, I wouldn't waste my time. I'm not going to any fucking bathroom. Look how big that pool is. <laughs> Want to swim out to the corner? If I go to the bathroom, that's at least like 15 minutes to walk there and walk back, you know? I get it, bro. 
However, I can't say the same for the people below me. Wait a minute. Wait. 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 When I was I How did I miss this detail? All I could do was stand in complete shame as Wait the liquid minute. dripped down my legs. Wait a minute. Along with the water Wait from previous minute. slides and the pool. Because of the additional water also dripping, no one around me even noticed I was peeing. However, I can't say the same for the people below me. Oh my god. How did I miss that critical detail? Did that just not come up? Did I accidentally skip it? Or did that- was that ever said? Oh, this is different. Oh, this is very bad. That changes everything. How did I miss that? Oh my god, this is different! No, ab abort. The <laughs> everything I said before, I was lying. Do not pee. Do not hold it in. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought it was the good ending. But in actuality, it's way worse. Oh my god. Oh dear lord. Those poor people below you, did they know? They probably didn't know. I'm sure they didn't know. One time... Uh, my family and I went to King's Dominion, and I don't have any recollection of the story. I was apparently too young. King's Dominion is a theme park in Doswell, Virginia. It's like two and a half hours from my house. Maybe three. And we go to King's Dominion, and my dad and my mom, this is before they got divorced, so we're all together. My dad had to pee really bad before he left, but he wanted to get home, and he didn't want to stop or something. I don't know exactly why. I don't know what happened. I think there was a storm or something. Uh, he held his pee so bad that when he went to go pee, he finally stopped at a gas station. He said he peed blood. Now, I don't know if this is true. My dad is like a big fish type. I think he's prone to, uh, embellishment. I don't even know if that can happen. So, yeah, anyway, uh, peeing on the stairs is fine, kid. It, as long as you're not peeing blood, just let it go. You're fine. That can happen? I, I, okay, well. Why would you tell us this? It's, it's cringe confessional. This is, you signed up for this. Next time I'll save my story for the ads. So that the people who are paying for the content get the real shit. <laughs> Pissing blood usually belies some sort of injury. I, yeah, I, don't, I don't even know if it's true. That's what my dad said. I don't even know why you would wait so bad. What kind of toxic masculinity is that? Oh, yeah, I don't have to pee. I'm a man. When I was around eight or nine, one of my friends and his dad were visiting our house. Okay. Because we're Zoomers, we usually spent this time on the Wii or the computer. But after a couple of Zoomers. hours, the power went out. It was the middle of the day, so there was still plenty of light. And my mom suggested that we place... They got ads right then, huh? <laughs> we as Zoomers? Is it really? No. We came out in 2006. Which means you were born in like 2000? Is 2000 Zoomer? I'm a Zoomer and I grew up on N64. You're not a Zoomer then. No. What the fuck? Oh, no, I guess it is Zoomer. I forget that there's there's nothing between Millennial and Gen Z. What's after Gen Z? Alpha? Cringe. I know it's like... Greatest Generation, Boomer, Gen X, Millennial, Zoomer, Alpha. Right? Right? Gen Alpha is going to be fucked up. Dude, I never... And I'm stalling for ads. I don't know if you guys can tell. I don't know uh, if this is like... It started happening to me where I'll read articles about like Zoomers. And let me know if you guys are in this camp. It's like these are the things that Zoomers like to do or like th th these are their preferences. And one of them is like Zoomers really like uh, to go to work. They don't like working from home. 
Zoomers love working in the office. Yeah, I see those fucking articles all the time. I'm like, what? Is that true? That is fake. That's fake. Is that propaganda? Twitter psyop. Okay. I see that shit all the time. I'm like, I don't believe that for one fucking second. That feels like a corpo psyop. Okay. Glad that's not just me. Because, like, I read, I used to read millennial propaganda, and they would say millennials don't care about salaries. They care about uh, having a workplace that aligns with their beliefs. I said, fuck that. I don't know a millennial that feels like that at all. What are you talking about? Millennials like to believe they're doing something good for the world. No, we lived through two recessions. What the fuck? <laughs> My generation is doomer as fuck. Please just pay me. I'm millennial, love money. So true. Same, brother. I just want to own property, man. I got lucky, bro. I got, whenever I read those uh, those articles, like, millennials will never own a house. I'm like, <laughs> speak for yourself. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for subbing. 2800 tonight. I appreciate it. <laughs> it was big when all I right, was... All right, all right, all right, back to business. When I was around eight or nine, one of my friends and his dad were visiting our house. <laughs> Because we're Zoomers, we usually... Actually, do you want to know what the real answer is? Mallory's grandparents are loaded. <laughs> he was an accountant for the state. We had a good down payment. That's literally it, by the way. That's literally it. I I'm not even joking. We It's all about the down payment. If you get the down payment... Like, I'm doing well now, right? But years ago, I was, like, not doing great. Took us a while. We got the down payment from him. Oh, baby. Inheritance and nepotism. <laughs> Hell yeah. Coney ain't the breadwinner? I wasn't for a little bit. Mallory worked for Twitch. That's San Francisco money? Good fucking lord. I worked a 9-to-5. I was a corpo drone. Dude. Sheesh. She was crazy. Sheesh, real? Yeah, dude, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? She worked at Twitch. You guys didn't know that? Are you guys serious? What does she do now? Uh, She just, she's a, I guess a housewife? I don't know, because she does some projects and side stuff, but she just stays at home, yeah. No, yeah, this is old lore. Mal worked at Twitch for a while. She worked at Twitch and she didn't know what PogChamp was. When I was around it. Mal is Omega Normie. I can't believe you guys didn't know that. That's crazy. Yeah, she didn't know any of the emo. She doesn't know Twitch culture at all. She's a super normie, and I love her to death. Is this a bit? No! Did you guys really not know that? That's insane. What does Mal do? I don't know. No, no, no. It was more that, like, I don't want to say that my wife is the... Oh, she's a housewife or whatever. I don't want to, like, sound dismissive. She does some projects and side contract stuff. She directs some kids shows, um, stuff like that. But, like, mostly she just takes care of Juliet. So I was trying stay at home mom, I guess. I was just I was trying to find out how to say that without sounding dismissive, you know? No, I definitely said that she worked at Twitch before. She did not know Atriar because she worked remotely. She would have never known him. She's a director. She directs uh kid shows, like um musicals and stuff. She does theater stuff. It's cute. Alright, shut up. Back to business. When I was around eight or nine, one of my friends and his dad were visiting. Like Coco our Melon? No, like Peter Pan. When I was around eight or nine, one of Shut my friends and his dad stream. were visiting our house. Because we're Zoomers, we usually spent this time on the Wii or the computer. Uh -huh. But after a couple of hours, the power went out. It was the middle of the day, so there was still plenty of light. Mm -hmm. And my mom suggested that we play Scrabble until the power came back on. Mom! This should sound like a commercial for Milton Bradley. <laughs> Let's play Scrabble! Children are not very smart. <laughs> I thought that slut was a synonym with homeless person, so but I bam! slammed it down on the board like Hell fucking yeah. lightning, which forced the hand of my mother in trying to explain Whoa. what a slut is in child-friendly terms in front of me, my friend, yeah. and his dad, who she barely even knew at this time. Oh my god, that's worse for her, because she's got a- the, the guy is right there. 
Oh, oh no. I wonder what she exp how she explained it. I'm 21 and the look on her face <laughs> when she saw the board still haunts me. Oh. Oh man. Yeah, that's not even that many points honestly. Slut is is a small word. Surely you could have done something better. Lust? No, that's word. That's the only other word I could think of with those letters. Ta uh, uh What do you do? What do you do with that? Concubine? <laughs> okay, you just slam that down. You slam down concubine for your mom. What could you... Lutz? I don't think that's a word. Tolls? Stull? Alts? Yeah, what do you do? You have three other letters on the rack. Honestly, this isn't that cringe. Kids don't know shit. I'd ask my mom what a dildo was. I watched the first episode of South Park, and dildo comes up a lot on that show. And my mom was like, uh... <laughs> Yeah, it was it it's 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 a plot point on the first few episodes of South Park. They talk about it a lot. She didn't explain it to me. Thank God for that. Coney, why do you have a story for everything? <laughs> I've lived a long time. You will too. One day my junior year, I was going through a rough time with my family, uh -huh. and before one of our performances, she noticed I was Wait, what? Oh, whoops. One day. Somehow this didn't go we to the were beginning. Back in high school, I had an on and off crush. Cool. We were both in marching band, and band was weird when it came to relationships. Yeah. Yeah, band kids are fucking weird. We were both really good friends, but sometimes it was weird talking to each other because of the tension between us. Mm-hmm. One day my junior band year, kids are always I like was really going through a rough time with reason. my family, and before one of our performances she noticed I was down, so I told her about it. Sure. She gave me a hug and told me it was going to be alright. And you made a move. You fell right into her trap. While we were hugging, I said this to her, and I will never forget it. I love it when they do this. I can't have children. <laughs> she backs up, yells, what the fuck, and walks away. To this day, I have no idea why I what? said that. It's been six years since that happened. Why did you do that? What the fuck? She comforted you in your time of day. Why would you? That doesn't. That wasn't why you were sad. I don't even know how to talk. I don't know how to respond to this. How do you react to this? This is a non sequitur. Why did you say that? You say you don't know. What the? F That's it. That's the end of the story. What the fuck? I don't believe this story. This can't be real. This can't be a real story. Maybe it's, I refuse to have children. Maybe maybe he meant to say, like, I don't want kids, which is weird enough. Why did he say that? What the fuck? Back, we were, one, she gave, while we were hugging, I said this to her, and I will never forget it. I would have it. never expected this. I can't have children. Dude, ban kids. We need to eliminate arts from our schools. Holy shit, dude. Ban kids are weird. More sports. Pick up a fucking football, Timothy. Jesus Christ, dude. He might have a narrow urethra. <laughs> that is legitimately one of the weirdest messages I have ever read in chat. I have never read a message like that. Why did you read that? Because literally in in eight years of streaming, I have never seen that. Oh, it's a King of the Hill reference? Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that would have been really funny if I knew it. Ah, fuck. I appreciate the slow ball. Fumbled. Yeah, he, he, he tossed the softball and it would have been very funny if I knew it. Oh, that's tough.
<laughs> narrow urethra. Oh, man. I'm not in on the joke. I blew it. Damn, undo, undo. Good one. Damn, dude. That's, uh, good lord. <laughs> that might be, this one's in the Hall of Fame, genuinely. This one is one of the worst stories we've ever heard, um, but not in a way that I can describe it. It sounds like I'm making it up if I told it to people. This is definitely Hall of Fame material. Well done. When I was in my sociology class in the ninth sociology. grade, we were having the talk about the female anatomy. What the fuck kind of class is this? What the fuck? Sociology and you're talking about vaginas? What are you doing? Where do you live? This is the light bulb guy. <laughs> Everybody, just nobody knows what they're doing wherever this guy lives. We got to fix our schools, bro. Yeah, the South. Yeah. This is like South Carolina. Mm, I don't know. When are we going to teach them about those vaginas? Mm, the, the, this class, I guess. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on down there. When I was in my school, the teacher described that lady parts can get up to 104 degrees. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Ouch! Hot, hot, hot! What the fuck? Jesus Christ! There's no way that's true. There's no way that's true. One, 104 degrees? Do I have any women viewers in the chat right now? Can you guys, like, I, forgive me for Can you check? Like, are you. Wouldn't that burn the clothes? Wouldn't that burn the shit? What the fuck? That shit's sculpting. Ouch! Oh my god. Your body temperature is 98.6. Dude, 104 degrees, I'm pretty sure, would leave you with a burn. You are 98 degrees right now. Maybe you, not me. I'm ice cold, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? That's fever temperature? I, uh, that 104 degrees is very hot. That's crazy to me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm glad we have these classes. When I was... The teacher described that lady parts can get up to 104 Jesus. degrees. Tony has his window open, so he's a little cooler. I checked. No, it's not. I then blurted out that's <laughs> hot enough to bake some cookies in there. True. For the rest of the semester, whenever <laughs> someone mentioned anything about the weather being hot, <laughs> kids would ask if I brought any cookie dough. That's it. That's the end of the story. Bro, I, I, that's not cringe. I don't think that's cringe. That's funny. That's funny, and you had a funny thing that you said. I said the same thing. 104 degrees, you put the, the, the roll of cookie dough up there, and it comes out in one big log, you know? Slice it up a little bit. Get some milk. Easy bake a seat. Oh, my God. Stop. 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 <laughs> Mods. <laughs> Mods, oh dear God, I'm still stunlocked by this 104 degrees thing. That's so hot. <laughs> it's just, oh my God. All right, that's enough. If any women are watching this stream, I'm so sorry. Genuinely, I my bad. <laughs> this is, uh, I'm ashamed too. 4%, by the way. Let me check on YouTube, actually. Last I checked, it was 4. I think it went up. Uh, We are at... Hold on. 77% are subscribed. So I can't do the whole, like, did you know only 20% are subscribed? Uh, 94 male, 4% female, 2% user specified. So 4%, stay strong. 
I told you guys that I get a lot of people telling me, like, guys that are like, my girlfriend loves watching you. And I'm like, really? <laughs> the stats don't show that, but maybe the boyfriend is putting me on in front of the girl and she's pretending. She's like, oh, he's so funny. Oh, he's yelling again. He's he's screaming. That's really funny. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's great, honey. <laughs> oh, wow. More more watch mojo. That's great. I love the Yahoo bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. He's really loud. <laughs> I told you guys I was at I was at a Texas tournament. And uh, the guy running a booth who had some great art told me, uh, oh, I, I love your stuff. This is also my girlfriend. She hates it when I put you on. And she was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I get it. I get it. And I appreciated that she wasn't polite about it. Most of the time, the, the you know, I get, I get appreciation on both sides, and I assume that one of them is lying. This time she was like, yeah, I'm just not into it. I'm like, I get it. Thank you for your honesty. I should have been like, how do I win you over? <laughs> like, a, like a politician. What do I do to get your subscription? During the dinner, the conversation veered to talking about food stamp. Okay, somehow, I, again, I, I'm, get, I'm getting in in the middle of the stories. During the dinner, the conversation veered to talking about food stamps. Uh -huh. The friend's wife mentioned that EBT didn't include diaper purchases because EBT stamps were only used for consumables like food. Huh. Me, in my infinite wisdom, looked her in the eyes and responded, What about edible diapers? Oh. Pure silence. Her face turned to horror for a split second, and I looked over to see my brother face up howling so hard I thought his soul maybe left his body. But I know for sure that mine did once I realized what I said. Oh. No amount of backpedaling would save me from the moment that is now seared into my memory for the rest of my life. Dude, that's really bad. That's not even funny bad. Oh, man. That's really bad. This is, this is like undiluted, pure, refined cringe. This is the, like every once in a while, one of these stories just like hits. You know what I mean? It's like perfectly in that sweet spot. They're going to remember this forever and nobody's ever going to talk about it again to like relieve the tension, right? That's something that like later down the line, they could be like, uh, uh, down the line, they could bring it back up and then you could be like, oh, that was kind of weird. Ha ha ha. And then everybody gets past it. No, they're never going to bring that back up. That's just that that's stuck with all of you. Weapon grade cringe. <laughs> Oh, that's 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 tough. Good story though. Ugh. I guess you were trying to add to the conversation. I, ugh. I, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to find like a way out for you. <laughs> it doesn't exist. So. When I was in middle school, I was pretty into Minecraft and Minecraft parodies of songs. Wow, cool kid. One of my favorite ones was actually Revenge. You know the creeper, oh, a man, man. meme. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I am in school, getting stuff out of locker, and humming along to my favorite Minecraft I parody. I feel like that's not cringe. One I mean, of my female classmates yeah. happens to overhear me humming, and accuses me of humming DJ Got Us Fallen in Love by Usher. Just say she's right. Just say she's right. That's my favorite song. Just say she's right, please. I was slightly embarrassed, oh, no! so I made it a point to correct them, saying, No, I'm singing the Minecraft parody of the song. In the moment I was still a little embarrassed, but I thought I had mildly saved myself. You did the worst Looking thing. back on that many times since then, yeah. I'm sure that made it much worse for myself. You did. Oh, but that's it? Oh, well, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, that that's weird, but whatever. You probably did some other weird shit. They probably judged you like 50 times before that. This is not the first time you were weird. If you said that so readily and without any provocation, you just sort of offered that information, you were probably a weird kid and everybody made fun of you regardless. So, it's fine. 
Men should probably lie. <laughs> Men should lie more often, perhaps. I went to a small elementary school that was also connected with a church. That's fucking weird. Where do you guys live? Isn't that weird? No, I guess it's not weird. I went to a daycare that was like a church thing. I don't know. Florida, me too. <laughs> I guess it's not that weird. Tax purposes, yeah. No, I, I, I think I think I was I was already softened up and tenderized by all the other school stories. This one's probably normal. I yeah, this one's normal. I I, I think I, I jumped the gun on this one. Forgive me, chat. Every couple of years, the school would round all the kids up in the parking lot to take a school-wide photo. Cool. Of course, the one year I was in one, I was also dead center. Cool. The cameraman took probably about 20 photos, but chose to put out the one where I was blatantly picking my nose. I had it out for you. So whenever anyone walks into our main hall, whether for school or church, they will see a big photo That's on funny. the wall with me in the center picking my nose. <laughs> And every time I went in that hall, people would laugh and point it out. 18 years later, and it's still there. <laughs> you walk into that fucking school. <laughs> you still got that picture of him. Finger right up in his nose. He's there forever. You've always been at the school. He didn't even notice you. What song is this? I, I feel like none of you guys would get this. Yeah, I, that, that's a very small. You're still there. No, this is this one is a bit. He probably didn't even notice you. Also, who's even looking? You know what I mean? Who's even looking at this fucking picture of you? Nobody's d d looking around at the kids. I wouldn't even notice. That's not cringe. Honestly, you probably gave a good icebreaker to people there and just looking like, look at that kid, LOL. I can't, you know? It's fine. Hey, Coney and Chad, Hi. here's a little tale from my childhood. Thanks, Me and wait. my then girlfriend at the time were hanging out in my dad's house. Ooh. We would play Black Ops 2 Zombies anytime we hung out and it was super fun. Mm -hmm. But we were obviously quite loud, quite. as kids playing video games tend to be. Of course. After we dropped my girlfriend back home. My dad came up to me and said, hey, I know you have your own room and all, but I don't want you guys doing that in my house. <laughs> I assumed he meant playing Call of Duty, so the next time I spoke to my girlfriend, I said we couldn't play zombies anymore. Ooh. My dad still to this day assumes I was crushing Ooh. slides at the right age of 12. I am now 20 and have become the most oblivious person when it comes to relationships. Oh. Thanks for hearing me out. I can no longer play COD Zombies without fear of my father overhearing. Crushing Sliz? What the fuck is that? I've never heard that. It's not just me? Okay. I just found out about Riz like a, a month ago. I thought I, I, I'm just out of touch, but it's not just me. All right. Negative Riz streamer, I guess. Um, what's Riz? Uh, L. <laughs> L chatter, L chatter. Dude, I don't know how you can get those two things... Mixed up. What were you? What What was the sound you were making playing Call of Duty Zombies? Is your dad a virgin? Has your dad had sex before? Does he not? Like... <laughs> what the fuck? On me, on me. <laughs> like I can't even make this, these jokes because I haven't played COD. I'm not that generation, so I don't even know the things that you would say. He's knocked. I don't. <laughs> One hit? He's one tap? One th I don't fuck. I know Fortnite. Is that the same thing? I don't... I don't know. <laughs> oh, fuck Hellhounds. Isn't, like, JFK in that game? I don't know what the... The zombies were probably moaning a lot. You think your dad... Like... <laughs> 
Your dad is so stupid. You and your girlfriend are up there, and he hears like 30 guys moaning. He thinks they're climbing in through the window? <laughs> hey, can you please not have that happen in my house? <laughs> oh, my God. He doesn't even check. Yeah. Uh, all right. I, I, I mean, like, I know a lot of houses, like, with the open door policy, right? It's like you can't. Don't close the door, right? He probably thought they were real zombies. Oh, so dad thinks they're raising the dead. Dad thinks they're not having sex. He thinks they're performing some uh, necromancy. Okay. Got it. Don't do that in my house. Sure. Dad is a, a paladin. <laughs> Dad is a cleric. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's change it up. We go Lucy. Hi, Lucy. I work at Subway. Never mind. We are. I work at Lucy. Subway. I know. Uh, let's go Heather. Actually. I work at Subway. Okay. A few months ago, I was instructed to make tea and wipe down tables at the same time. By the way, L for Subway. Jesus. Yuck. While the tea was brewing, I wiped the dining tables off. Uh-huh. After the tea was done brewing, I stir it and can't find the rag I used to wipe the tables off. Mm -hmm. I look into the tea urn, and there it is. My boss and her son were working with me that day, so I threw away the rag, left the tea, and said nothing to anyone. Wait. Wait. <laughs> I'm confused. You made tea, wiped the dining tables off. When the tea was done brewing, you put the rag into the tea urn. Okay, I see. I'm going to say it. Not that bad. It's bad. It's really bad. But if you think these mistakes aren't happening at fast food places daily, from like teenagers being paid minimum wage, I mean, it's, it's, I don't know if it's cringe. I just think this is a fast food moment. You know? It's fine. Come on, bro, it is cringe. I mean, I guess a little. I don't know. You should have remade the tea, right? But I, I get why you wouldn't say anything. I get it. You get in more trouble saying anything. You'd rather just, you know, who's going to get sick, right? You'll be fine. I, uh, I worked at Cold Stone once, and I was spraying the inside of, like, the... Um, of the, uh, the, the display, right? You know, with the Windex. And I definitely sprayed, uh, some of the, some of the, some of the ice cream. Um, think it still tasted fine. Yeah. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> that was you? Oh, yeah, I did that. I mean, it wasn't a lot. It was like a little bit of droplets fell down. And I was like, I'm not fixing that. I was, by the way, I was literally 14. I should not have been working in an ice cream place at 14 years old. But I made eight bucks an hour. <laughs> Payout. Bioterrorist streamer. Hey, I did, if you were, if you're going to Cold Stone, don't get the sweet cream. If you're going to a Maryland Cold Stone, stay away. That's why you spray on the paper towel, not the glass. The first time chatter, very helpful. Thank you, cumulative mil Jesus, cumulative minimum. Thank you so much. A, a terrific first time chat. No, this one's not that bad. By the way, thank you, Navy Inferno, for the sub. Agent Orange for the Prime for 11 minutes ago. I keep missing it. By the way, if you guys have a Prime, it's a free way to subscribe to the stream. I think we're going to get ads soon, so be ready. I'm just warning you, it's a free way to get away from, from ads. Drop a prime. I'll say thank you. You might miss it. When I was younger, my parents wouldn't let me watch their night. copy of Dirty Dancing, which was weird. Uh, not that weird. They let me watch most movies, and my friends said it wasn't that bad of a movie. It's not that bad. So one day while they went to the store, my brothers and I decided to turn it on. Uh-huh. Now I know that you were thinking it was probably a porno, but it wasn't. It was a sex tape. Oh, 
Oh my god. It wasn't your parents though, right? My brothers and I watched in horror as we watched our parents' sex tape. They still have this tape and we've never told them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> My head is swimming. Why in the fuck would you leave that tape out? <laughs> there surely are better places to hide a VHS tape. So they filmed over Dirty Dancing? Why don't you film over, like, I don't know, Amadeus? <laughs> Film over, like, my left foot. Like a boring-ass movie a kid's not gonna watch. What the fuck? Film over Schindler's List. That's unbelievable. That's so irresponsible. What kid... Of course, if a kid says not... Oh, my God, dude. This, this is fucked up because this could happen to anyone. <laughs> Like, any parent that does that, like, any fucking parent could do this, and a kid would be like, oh my god, I want to watch that movie now, because the parents are telling me not to do it. Like, this is a parent diff. Oh my god, dude. That's unbelievable. Why did you watch it? <laughs> Why... I think I would turn that off. For, well, I don't know. I guess if you're that young, you don't even know what a movie is. <laughs> like, at that point, you don't know what a movie is, right? So you're like, this is a weird intro. Usually it's like, coming soon to VHS, right? <laughs> you think it's like a weird ad. And then your mom walks into the frame, and you're like, oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. That's fucked up. Wouldn't you recognize their room? D yeah, that's actually very scary. I, I actually might think it's like a horror film. If I see the room, I wouldn't even think of sex first, I think. <laughs> this one's really bad. This one's... You have to tell them, right? At some point in your life, you have to tell them. I watched it. You remember that Verdi Dancing VHS? Oh, I've seen it. <laughs> Stop saying origin story. Stop. That's gross. By the way, thank you, Not2K. Thank you, Star Force, for the gift. Thank you, Mr. Magenta. Thank you, BLNG. It looks like bling. Thanks for the primes. Thank you, Navy Inferno. I swear if this is your story, it's not. I do have a story not similar, but I do have a story in that vein, but I'm not going to tell it because I don't want to take over the stream. Basically, okay, fine. I was I was hanging. My stepsister once found a toy in my my dad's room. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And we're gonna stop there. That happens. Yeah, that's normal. That's not that crazy. My family got invited to a barbecue party in the park, mm -hmm. and there were probably 50 people there. Hot Wheels? <laughs> they found a power wheel. She's like, oh, cool! Rides back out on a tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> I warned you about the ads! I warned you. I warned them. I don't know what to tell them. This one's going to be sub-exclusive. You're welcome. My family got invited to a barbecue party in the park, and there were probably 50 people there all together. Uh-huh. I had brought my frisbee, and I was a little bit bummed out because most of the people there were older, 
and nobody wanted to play frisbee with Aww, me. Aw, that's sad. Eventually, though, one lady who my family only vaguely knows felt bad for me and decided to throw the frisbee with me. Oh, we were throwing sweet. the frisbee, and out of nowhere she throws it really hard, Jesus. and I had to dodge it. Ugh. Me, a straight white male, mind you, decided to utter the words that was close, you could have cut my uterus in half. <laughs> I was only nine at the time, and didn't really know what a uterus was. <laughs> I just knew it was a body part. <laughs> everyone at the party heard about that's it and funny teased kid. me the entire night. That's a funny kid. No, that's funny. That's that's good. That's just a little kid moment. Yeah, I would make fun of you too, but that's that's funny. Yeah, kids just say that shit. That's fine. Honestly, if a kid if I heard a kid say that, I would think that kid's that kid rules. That's really silly. What a funny kid. Any story under 10 can't be super cringe. Yeah, I feel like there's, like, there there are, like, how do I put this? You, there are, it's like a bell curve, right? It's like if you're under 10, nothing is cringe. Once you get to, like, 12 to, to it, it, like, goes up a lot. And then at, like, 18 to 20, it's omega cringe because you should know better. And then at like th at like twenty five, like to thirty, you can't really cringe anymore because you're making deliberate choices. Does that make sense? Like at a certain point, you can't cringe anymore because like you're just you're an adult, and either you're fucking up or you're not. You know what I mean? You could still have cringe experiences, but it's not quite the same. You're just a silly kid. Coney, you called yourself a pee guy. Yeah, but that's not a cringe moment because it's like, who cares, right? Like, I I could see myself doing that on comms and being mortified at 20. Now it's like, eh. <laughs> oh, well. It was a funny moment. It's stupid. Who cares? You know what I mean? I don't get embarrassed really anymore. You just don't get embarrassed. I've said worse stuff on stream. I one thing is coming. One thing that I said, it was a joke that I said and it I'm not going to repeat it. Uh but because I don't want chat to hear it now, but I immediately wanted to undo. Jabu Jabu, that one's pretty bad. It was about an actor. <laughs> I felt really bad. It was about an actor. I'll explain it another night. Some old heads might know which one it was. I I misspoke trying to make a joke, <laughs> and I re I immediately realized what I said, and I undoed immediately. And I even yeah, it was okay. All right, back to business. Sorry. <laughs> back during my mid to high school era. <laughs> Is it Pat I Noswalt? You mean famous wife killer Pat Noswalt? No. And also, he didn't kill his wife. Hello, new viewers. Welcome to the stream. Viewer count just jumped up a lot. Hi, stick around. I can explain. Back during my mid to high school era, I used to live at my grandmother's house during the weekdays since school was very close by. Uh -huh. And besides me, there was my younger brother, my grandmother, mm -hmm. and her two dogs. They were not well trained and were often kept in their cage and were even less well taken care of. Aww. And as such... They lack proper potty training, meaning they'd pee and poop all over the house. Sure, okay. Or more often yeah. in their cage. Uh huh. Late into our living there, during the quiet hours of the night, mm -hmm. my brother picked up the habit of peeing on the floor behind the couch bed we slept on, as the dogs would get blamed for it. Oh. God. I assume he was afraid of the dark, or maybe just too lazy to go to the bathroom. Oh my God. A habit of it? like a dog does, where he starts going and then never stops. What the fuck? I assume he was a... F I looked down on him about it, but in secret, I started <laughs> doing it too, because I was afraid of the dark. We never got caught, and I doubt he knows I did it either. Wait, wait, wait. so you got away with it. You got away with it. It's Mario and Luigi. It's a Mario Bros. shit. Wait a minute. Nobody's going to get that reference. I can't. <laughs> so you got away with it. He doesn't know that you did it. You know that he did it. Oh, my God. 
And the dog was doing it too. This is just a communal pee spot. This is what people did in tribal society. Return to... to it's not even return to monkey. What do you return to? Tradition? <laughs> return to tradition. Oh my god. Grandma's house just... Uh, grandma is probably pissed. Everybody's probably blaming it on her. Damn it, Grandma! <laughs> That house is a, a biological weapon. Oh my god. European moment? Is that like a pun? Or is that like a, like, is that what they do in Europe? <laughs> I can't, I genuinely don't know. RE7? <laughs> Welcome to the family. <laughs> oh my god. That's gross. That's fucked up. Thank you for writing in. So in my school, they did marathons like one a year. Cool. They divided the marathon between elementary school, middle school, and high school. Uh-huh. I was at middle school back then, and I was a big fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. Sure. So Good start. when it was our turn to run in the oh, marathon. Oh, God. Did you say you're too slow? Or are you way past cool? Did you say, I'm waiting? What'd you do? The race starts and they usually assign teachers to supervise the race if something there is an accident. So spinning your legs really fast? I finally really fast. reached the slope and I began running as Sonic because I thought back then that I was going to run faster. I did run fast. Yeah. Too fast. Uh-huh. I flew and fell on the hard concrete <laughs> and injured myself really bad. How bad? The worst part about that was that the other people <laughs> running were laughing at me instead of helping. That's not that bad. That's fine. That, that's fine. It's okay. This ha this literally happened to me, by the way. So I, I wasn't Sonic, but I, I did a track thing, and I, I lost my balance. So I li this literally occurred to me. So this isn't bad. You're fine. This has happened to everybody. Yeah. So wait, when you ran like Sonic, what does that mean? Like the, the arms back? Like Naruto? Is that it? No, this is fine, because you didn't... No, it's not like you were trying to be Sonic. They don't know that you like Sonic. They don't think this is a Sonic the Hedgehog moment. They just think you fell down when you were running. This is fine. You're fine. This happened to me swinging a bat once in middle school. I think that's more embarrassing. <laughs> running sometimes is just your legs don't work. Swinging a bat means you're uncoordinated. That's fine. They knew when they were laughing because of it. No, 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 he just fell down. Kids are laughing because he fell down. That's fine. I want to I wanna know how badly you injured yourself. That's my question. You said really bad. Like a broken arm? Like a, like scrapes all over? What happened, you know? On concrete, ooh. Yeah, that one's not too bad. Uh, let's go Gale. I used to play indoor soccer as a child. I don't remember much about it. What? I can't remember what... Dude, this is like the normal TTS voice, but she's drunk. Why is it so slow? <laughs> she's on painkillers. What's going on with Gail? I don't remember... Okay, I have to change it. I don't... Gail, go home. Oh, Tyler, Australia. Hold on. I used to play indoor soccer as a child. Hell yeah. I don't remember much about it. Uh -huh. I can't remember what position I played or if I was any good, but there's one memory that was burned into my mind. Yep. I had recently been exposed to video games, and Wario Land Shake It was my favorite. Did you do the, the I, Wario run? I, for some reason, had an urge to explain to this girl what the game was and what my favorite part of Aww, it was. Aww, you're trying to make so a connection! So paying attention to the game, I got down on all four single quotes and reenacted the crawling animation and made the sounds. Uh, I don't know what those are. What do those sound like? Hold on. One second. Uh, I'm trying to look it up. I can't find it. I really wish I could find this. Okay. Continue. During this, the ball came down to our field and we were scored <laughs> on. I still remember the embarrassment from everyone in the crowd laughing, or 30-something kids' families. I 
assume this was like during a pause in the game. This was during play? This was during game time? <laughs> he said he didn't remember his position. What if he's the goalie? He's just crawling around on the ground. Oh, yeah. Hey, check this one out. Huh? That is adorable. Oh, man. You were just trying to tell somebody about your favorite game. Yeah, honestly, Sigma behavior. Maybe she, what if, if you didn't do that, you would live with the constant thought, what if she really liked WarioWare? What if she was a big WarioWare Shake It fan? Could have been your wife. Man. You just took a risk and it failed, unfortunately. <laughs> I would laugh too. If I was a parent and I saw a kid doing the Wario crawl, I would, I would probably laugh. Uh, and I would ask that kid, hey, you like Wario? And he'd be like, yeah. And then I would high-five the kid, and I would make his day. I would make him feel better. Need me a girl who really loves WarioWare. Good luck, King. Good luck. Context. So a few years ago, I was in a church camp where we all went down to Dayton for the week to learn about God. We were <laughs> right. in hotels with a group of kids our same age and gender. Uh huh. So me and the group of boys I was in went with our chaperone to find some food. We went to a wings place and walked past a group of girls, and they were like they don't know what they're getting into. I hear this and I start panicking. <laughs> what do we say on this stream? What do we say on this stream? They're always up to something! Note that we are all 12-13 years <laughs> old. The lady walks up wearing the shortest shorts I'd ever seen and the tightest sports bra ever. Daytona moment. We walked into an off-brand Hooters and ate there at a church camp. Our chaperone told us let's all agree to never speak <laughs> of this ever again, and I haven't told it to anyone until now. Wait. Yes, I got a burger and it was pretty good. Oh, that's good. Okay. So your your church camp guy took you to a Hooters without knowing. In da Honestly, in Daytona, I don't know where else you could eat. I've been to Daytona. I don't know where you can go that isn't a Hooters or a sexually suggestive. Daytona is a shithole. That place is just, it's its Sodom and Gomorrah down there. It's crazy. Could he really not bring you anywhere else? <laughs> I mean, how about, how about Wendy's? Huh? How about going to Wendy's? There's either sex or racism. Yeah, in Daytona. And sometimes both. It's just... Uh, it's, it's fucked up down there. Genuinely. It's terrible. Daytona's an office pl awful place. Genuinely. Never go back. Once when I was in college, I was trying to practice good oral hygiene and decided to floss my teeth. Drake, good for you. In the middle of flossing, a piece of food that I had picked out of my teeth had flung its way straight into my eyeball. I tried to wash that gross shit out of my eye, but clearly I didn't do a good enough job, because when I went to bed at night, but was awoken prematurely to my eye completely crusted shot Oh my pain, god! I gave myself dental pink eye. Oh! I considered going to the ER to at least get myself antibiotics and tackle it right away, but decided against fuck? it because I didn't want to be a dumb base with myself inflicted pink eye taking a hospital. Do bed away from some critical 2am patient. Oh man! What, that's it?! That's the end?! That's the end? That's it. Is your eye okay? <laughs> Do you wear an eye patch now? What the fuck? How does that... What happened? That chatter legit just got pink eye and then didn't do anything about it? You didn't go to the hospital? You didn't... You didn't get some... Something to fix it? You just fucking... Jesus Christ, dude. What got in there? To crust your eye up. Oh my god. I always wonder, how does stuff get out of your eye, right? I know it's like shut back there, but what if it gets behind it and into your brain, right? 
I know that's not how eyes work, but what if it, like, got back there, and then it just falls to the bottom of your skull? It's just in there. And then you shake your head, and it just, like, rattles, you know? Like a piggy bank. Your pupil eats it? Like the devil eyes and cuphead. <clears throat> yeah. Behind your eye is a cavern full of eyelashes. I, uh, I, I once, uh, have you guys ever, uh, ripped your cornea? Dude. It was so bad. Yeah, I ripped... Oh, wait, maybe it wasn't my cornea. It might have been my retina. I ripped the outermost tissue of my eye, and I don't know how I did it. Worst fucking pain of my life. I don't know how I did it. I think I, I rubbed my eye or something. It was so bad. I had to get eye drops and everything. It was fucking bad. Yeah. I don't know how you get food in your eye. How? What food could be so small... That it gets in your eye, but also you can't get it out? Like, salt, chips, caviar, Chex Mix, corn. Salt salt would just dissolve. No, salt is just going to dissolve. It would hurt. That liquid candy you drop into your mouth. What, Pop Rocks? <laughs> uh, no, the, the, the baby bottle pop. The thing, the, the, the squeeze thing. Ribeye steak, pepper, a live fish, titty. We're just naming foods now. Okay. Let me paint you a picture for you. The year is 2000. Let me paint you a picture for you. Not a good start. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bad start from this chatter. The year is 2007. The San Diego sun is blazing down and the air smells like styrofoam. Okay. An elementary school aged me is attending a Christian summer camp. It's a lot me of and a swarm Christ of other tonight. kids of varying ages are all standing around under a large tent, waiting for the adults to tell us what to do. Uh -huh. Around this time, some friends and I had a running joke where we would change the lyrics to the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Hot thing. Hot dog! As cringe as that was, it was always the funniest thing in the world whenever it came up. I could see that being funny now. No, I, I feel like that that's still funny if it works. Like, if you could make it funny, it's not cringe. I could see that being funny. What did you do? Standing around bored out of my mind, waiting for the underpaid volunteers to properly conduct the small army what of did children. You say? I'm sitting back and going through different words in my limited child vocabulary to find the funniest parody lyrics possible. Uh -huh. Suddenly, I hit a eureka moment, and the perfect joke had been crafted. Okay. As I didn't have any of my friends around at the time, but still needed to share my Did discovery, I leaned over to a boy around my age and whispered it's the Mickey Mouse penis house. <laughs> that was your eureka moment? That was your eureka moment? Your, aha! <laughs> I know just the thing to say. He whispered it. Hey. Terry, come here. It's not even... It, it doesn't even fit the song. You just knew the word penis. As I didn't have any of my friends yeah, this around is just at the time, YouTube but poop. still needed to sh I was not greeted by laughter. As I didn't have any of my friends around at the time, but still needed to share my discovery, I leaned over to a boy around my age. And oh, wait, this wasn't Mickey even Mouse your penis. friend. I missed that detail. This was a random kid? Oh. Oh. That's much different. They don't even know the inside joke. They, you just went over and told him it's the Mickey Mouse penis house. At a Christian camp? I would have thought you were the devil. My youth pastor told me I would <laughs> there'd be a kid like this. <laughs> oh, there he is. Satan himself. <laughs> oh my god. I was not greeted by laughter. Yeah. Instead he gazed upon me with an expression of horror yeah. and told me that he was going to tell on me. Yeah, In I would too. Both fear for what could happen if this information was spread to the adults. I would tell on you too. At the lack of appreciation <laughs> for the joke. I did the only reasonable thing possible and get this kid in the nose as to disable his ability to rat me out. 
Unfortunately my strategy did not work the way I had intended. I was swiftly punished to the full extent of the church, and had to personally <laughs> apologize to the kid and his parents. What the fuck? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, it's like, it's like one of those games where somebody sees you commit a crime and you have to kill the witness. It's like a hitman thing. You told him a joke, and he tried to tell someone, and you knocked him out. GTA moment. Oh, my God. Holy shit. What a terrible day for this kid. He just tells you this joke, and then he knocks you the fuck out. <laughs> this poor kid. Some kid leans over, whispers to you, It's the Mickey Mouse penis house. What the fuck? I'm going to tell somebody you said that. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Kid is an action hero? Hold on, I'm looking for the... Where did I put the music? Is it this one? No, hold on. I know I have it in here. Oh, I was looking for the, oh yeah. Where did my, wait a minute. There it is. I had to find it. I gotta reorganize this one day. Holy shit. That's a great story. Genuinely. Honestly, if I was that kid, I wouldn't have told anybody. <laughs> that would be between you and me. Because I'd be afraid of you punching me again. I would have thought you were the devil. Genuinely. I was in middle school during the height of YouTube Let's Players, and I desperately wanted to be one of them. Sure. However, Nobody I knew I was cringe as a middle schooler. Mm -hmm. My solution was to create an alternate persona that was older. Oh! Can't be cringe if you're older. True. I tried to pass myself off as a 21-year-old, as a middle schooler. Alright, how'd you do? Did it cringe, work? I tried promoting this channel at my school. Okay. Except... I couldn't tell them it was me. Ah, so you just said you really liked this Let's Player. You thought he was really funny. So I made up the fact that the channel owner was my long-lost older brother. Mm -hmm. I'm an only child. In my <laughs> videos, I even lied saying I had a cool younger brother just to sell this story. Okay. No one my age bought this story and some friends still make fun of me for that channel idea. Hey, it's a concept channel. It's a concept channel. It's, it's, a, it's satire. It's a concept. It's a character. He's, it's a character, you guys. That's fine. Actual ARG. <laughs> That's fine. Dude, in the age of VTubers, you could just... Yeah, I was gonna say, you could just do that, right? The world is different now. Hey, shout out to my really cool younger brother <laughs> who looks exactly like me. Allow me to welcome NBA Hall of Famer. He's doing it again. Shaquille O'Neal. It's on. Shaq's in the house to make your speakers bounce. Twice in one night? Are you fucking kidding me? Let's show them some of the things you can do. Once again, he's in my house to make my speakers bounce. This is the second time tonight he's tried to sell himself on my stream. I don't know why he's doing that. This is insane. Just buy him. No. <laughs> I'm not rewarding this behavior. This is so stupid. They just randomly start talking. I'm just sitting here and they just like, allow me to introduce Shaquille O'Neal. What the fuck? Sub goal to buy Shaq. Uh, 2850, I'll buy Shaq. How about that? If you guys want to pop some primes, hey, it's a free way to support the channel. And I haven't said it at all tonight. I haven't even mentioned it once. And you get to avoid ads. Hmm? Amazing. My longtime partner and I had split up. Aww. We were in the phase where we were flirting with the idea of getting back together. Okay. I went over to their apartment and things started to get steamy, steamy in the living room. I will spare the details, but their roommate started to come in the room the moment I finished. Ooh. We had no time to clean up, so I just wiped on the inside of my shirt. Ooh, that sounds bad. The roommate, that... who is the most oblivious person I have ever seen, invites us out to Taco Bell right then. 
You just weren't in his line of vision like a Metal Gear Solid guard. Like, POV, you're fucking on the couch. I'm the Metal Gear guard. Hey, you guys want to eat some Taco Bell? <laughs> yeah, they probably knew. Yeah, I think I think you're dumb. I think they knew, and and you are you fell for it. I think you're more oblivious than they are. Actually, come to think of it, I think you're the dummy in this situation. But please continue. For some reason, my ex says yes and invites me along. Oh, bro, what a dream. Just finish some some hot action on the couch, and then you go get the quesadilla. Holy fuck! This is the dream of every like nineteen year old. This rules. Hell yeah! You just got finished crushing some sliz on the couch. A wallet's a trap. You think the woman orchestrated this? She talked to your roommate and was like, okay. We're going to fuck, and the moment it's over, I want you to walk in and invite us to Taco Bell, and then follow my lead. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right, what is she up to? Okay. I was sitting in Taco Bell just covered in fluids and wanted to die. Oh. The Cinnabon delights hit differently that day. <laughs> stop. Stop. Don't do that. Wait, that's just it? Oh, nothing else happened. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, that's got to be bad. I mean, like, how do I say this without being crass? Uh, I feel like you would notice there's, like, a dark spot, right? Right there. Like, the smell, too? Uh, not always a smell, unless you're really close to it. I don't think there's a smell. Also, you're in Taco Bell. <laughs> there are other smells in a Taco Bell. Could be a dark shirt. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, if it's a dark, if it's a black shirt. No, you're right. You're right. No, you could come on a black shirt and nobody would notice. Okay. No, I get it. This is a real story. I think the worst part of that is the cleanup. That's got to be miserable. Oh. Ugh. It was a peaceful day in fourth grade. Recess just ended and I was heading to my class. Uh -huh. As I was running to my class, I felt the smallest plop in my jacket hood. Hmm. Maybe a note from a girl? As I was running to my class, I felt the smallest plop in my jacket hood. A note from a pretty hood. girl? I shrugged it off and put my hood on my head, not realizing what her pen. Maybe? It's not Bergshit. It was the biggest mistake in my career as a fourth grader no way, trying to live shit. the most peaceful elementary school life. My teacher called my name and told me to take off my hood because I still had it on. It's bird shit. I took off the hood and everyone was just staring at me. It's bird shit. There was a pile of bird shit chilling on my head. Yeah, it was bird shit. I was dubbed the turd trapper for about <laughs> a month till everyone finally moved on from it. Kids are funny. Holy shit. Turd trapper. <laughs> That's pretty good. Kids are funny, dude. There's some creative fourth graders. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I bet the teacher gave him that. That's pretty good. I I don't I wouldn't have forgotten about it. I don't I can't believe people moved on. You would be that for the rest of the time that you went to my school. Jesus. What a terrible thing to happen. How unlucky. <laughs> Truly. Not even on your head, but in the hood? That's so much worse. Because it's like a, a delayed release, right? If it happened on your head, you could be like, oh my god, there's bird poop on my head. Teacher, please help. But if it's in your hood, it's like, how did you not notice? While running, too. <laughs> yeah, that was... God hates you. God God wanted you to suffer. Thank you for the prime, Cobalt. All right, uh, let's change it up. Lisa. When I was in late middle school, 
I was known as the boy who could sing. Oh, hold on. This isn't right. Boy voice. Let's go Mike. I think Rod. Rod's pretty good. When I was in late middle school, okay. I was known as the boy who could sing. Mm -hmm. I was in choir, musicals, and so on. Sure. My church knew this too and they were putting on a tiny play for Christmas about Jesus' birth. Cool! The catch is, the actors were all children in first to third grade. So terrible. They needed more people and asked <laughs> if I would be sound like chills. I said yes on one condition. Wait a minute. Let me bring down the speed a little bit. They needed more people and asked if I would. They needed more people and asked if I would be in it. Kind of close. I said yes on one condition. I said yes on one condition, as long as I don't have to wear any costumes. Not quite. It's more in the way he enunciates. I said yes on one condition, as long as I don't have to wear any costumes. The director tells me there will be no costumes and gives me my lines. Uh huh. The day of the performance, I see every kid getting in costume. Oh no, you got set the up! The director comes up to me and shows <laughs> me to my costume. A skin tight donkey costume entirely too small for me. You're a fucking donkey? You have lines? As the donkey? I bet that teacher was a woman. <laughs> Wait a minute. All directors often lie. To make it worse, I didn't look at my lines once. I went in front of the entire congregation with my genital area showing through the costume, oh. my lines in hand, oh. and tiny kids by me just to see everyone laughing. Oh my god. When I got home, my siblings and parents called me Donkey Boy. I think about this three times a month. Oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ, this is fucked up. Dude, that's on the director. You should have known your lines, but why did they give you a skin-tight donkey suit? Jesus Christ, that's fu that director set you up. Yeah, he told you he told you there are no costumes. He gave you a shitty costume, and he made you the donkey. This is just sad. Yeah, you're a victim. I'm sorry, this isn't cringe. I hope you 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 eventually move past this. If you need therapy, there's better help. Uh, there, it, it gets better. <laughs> Just to let you know, this is fucked up. Oh my god! There's so much church tonight. By the way, I don't know if Keen has an agenda. <laughs> Keen, the the choices that Keen has made tonight. There's so much. Are we are, are we pushing atheism here? Atheism shilling on the stream. <laughs> Okay. When I was eight years old, I had a friend at my house and we were playing with some plushies and toys. Mm -hmm. I had a one comma five foot Bart Simpson plushie. Oh, and me and sick. my friend were making the plushies fake fight. Cowabunga. And with that, my friend wanted to join the fight. And he just grabbed Bart by the neck and screamed, You are my worst enemy. And threw him out of the window. <laughs> I never saw Bart Simpson again. <laughs> One, why does your friend hate Bart Simpson? Two, this isn't cringe. This is just a kid being weird, I guess? I don't know. What, <laughs> what a weird kid. <laughs> I, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a part in parentheses. Oh my god, this changes things. There's a part in the parentheses that does, did not get read. Wait a minute. When I was eight years old, and with that my friend wanted to join the fight, and he just grabbed Bart by the neck and screamed, You are my worst enemy, and threw him out of the window. I live on the 21st floor of a 24-story <laughs> building, and I never saw Bart Simpson again. Oh my god! Bart's gone! <laughs> This is Omega Ronnie. Oh my god. 20 floors down. Oh 
Okay. Holy shit. The kid went on to be a bartender. Oh, look at the little toad. I forgot to turn off Donos. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> little toad is cute. Poor Bart, dude. Oh my god. Again, this is just kids playing. Kids do this. It's funny. I wish I could see like a, a thing. I'm, I'm thinking of, you know that Kermit video where Kermit jumps out of that building? He does that, but with Bart. His friend is Sideshow Bob. This is so stupid. It's so dumb. Uh, it's pretty funny. Yeah, not cringe, but delightful. Thank you for your story. <laughs> Poor Bart. Some other kid probably got his day made. Or, how? what kind of plush was this? It was probably a plushie. It's fine. If that plushie had, like, a hard eye, somebody could have been hurt. You ever have one of those plushies with, like, hard parts? You know what I mean? You throw that shit down 20 stories? Boom. If that shit landed in, like, a carriage? Ooh. Could have given a concussion. I just got an ad for a Jesus movie. <laughs> Dude, this stream is just straight up propaganda at this point. Repent. What? Yeah, I don't know how everything is working in conjunction together. We're trying to save some souls tonight. Can I get an amen in chat? Hashtag Jesus saves. <laughs> God's plan. That's, I don't know what's happening. It's all night tonight. All right. My first day of my new career was during the pandemic, cool. so I was working from home and we had an orientation where a large amount of people were on Zoom with our cameras on. Oh, no. While I was waiting for my name to get called, I noticed a wasp got into my apartment. Uh -huh. As I went to turn off my camera to deal with it, the wasp started slowly flying towards oh, me. Oh, God. So I got up and ran from my desk while essentially flailing. Mm-hmm. When I came back, I noticed my camera was still on and the person that had called me saw everything. Uh, when I sat fine. down and put my headphones on, they said, you good? <laughs> I haven't turned my Zoom camera on since. Oh, that's fine. You're fine. Not cringe. That's fine. I'm sure a lot of worse things have happened on Zoom. Wasn't there like a politician that masturbated on Zoom or something? Right? Didn't that happen? Right? During the whole, there's the Tifa, th the CNN guy. Yeah, that's the guy. Bro, I don't have my Zoom thing on ever. Literally never. I've done so many orientations and early calls or whatever. I've done panda meetings with big companies, you know, sponsors that we're working with, whatever. I never turn my camera on. If you don't like it, tough shit. You won't see me. Never, ever. No way. Just in case that happens. Terrifying. The Zoom era is crazy because, like, have you guys seen those products? I, I watched, uh, I was watching Shark Tank, and they had a product that was literally just a big mute button. It was a giant mute button that you would slam down. I can't believe that exists. But, I mean, it makes sense. And so you know if you're muted or not. It, like, lights up. It's like a, it's like the nut button. You know what I mean? And I was like, who the fuck is gonna buy this? But apparently it's a real market, so it's real. That mute button definitely didn't get a deal. I think Kevin O'Leary hated it, but I think Mark gave him a deal. That seems like a Mark thing. I can't watch Shark Tank the same way now that I know Mark is, like, exponentially richer than everybody else. <laughs> like, Mark could just buy and sell all of them, like, three times over. It feels like cheating, you know what I mean? Like, Mark is so much richer that it feels like any deal he he lets other people have, it's just, oh, it feels like he's sandbagging. You know what I mean? Is he? Oh, God, yeah. Mark Cuban is way richer than all of them. And I, when I watch the show, I feel like he's sandbagging. Lori is by far the best shark, though. I don't like Lori. I'm a, I'm a uh, I think I'm a Robert guy. I'm a Robert and Kevin fan. Actually, I like them all. I like Robert and Kevin and Mark. I'm a Barbara fan. Barbara is ruthless sometimes. Barbara goes crazy. <laughs> Who's Robert? Robert Herchevich, I think. Isn't that it? He's a cybersecurity guy. I don't fucking know. 
Not as rich as Mark Cuban, though. So it's seventh grade and I had sold enough in my school field trip to go to a BMX show in the gym with a friend. Kevin has the shittiest LinkedIn posts. Really? Is, Ke is Kevin, like, trying to shill his wealth on LinkedIn? That's really funny. I got rich and so can you. Here's how to stay motivated. That's really funny. LinkedIn shilling is hilarious. So it's seventh grade and I had sold enough in my school field trip to go to a BMX show in the gym with a friend. Cool. He did a bunch of tricks, but then he asked for some volunteers oh, no. to lay on the Don't floor. Don't do it! So he can jump over them. Do not! I went down there and laid down on the floor. I died. Now, in seventh grade, you're going through puberty at the time. Stop. Stop right there. <laughs> he caused an accident. <laughs> His friend, he was the last guy in the line, and his friend cleared all the other kids and then hit the front wheel. <laughs> hit it on the boater. <laughs> he would have made it if you were just a little more, uh, a little more godly, uh, a little less horny that day. On the very tip, yeah, right on the, um. he fucking bailed out, he beefed it, <laughs> did a front flip. Hope he was wearing a fucking helmet. Now, in seventh grade, so while I was playing on the ground, right before he <laughs> jumped over us, I had a giant erection on the floor in view of the whole school. What? Giant? Were you wearing joggers or sweatpants? Oh, dude, what the fuck? Tuck it in! Tuck it in! Tuck it in! What do you mean, giant? I didn't even know until the friend I brought ah! told me about it. I was so embarrassed, and there's even more. No way. The boy who used to bully me in middle school ah! recorded this moment and posted it on his public no! Instagram page. He wouldn't remove the video, so I had to go and tell to the principal. You had he to would tell the principal! It. This moment still scars me now, and the worst part is that no! if he removed it, I have no proof that this actually happened other than my friend's word. That's a good thing, though. That, no, you say that's bad because you don't know that it ever happened. Thank God it got wiped from existence because I was going to ask you to send me that video. I wanted to see the, the fucking jump happen. That's fucking insane. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. Okay, chat. Okay. Chat. Oh, I shouldn't. Undo, I guess. Chat. Okay. We're gonna... Okay, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna... We're gonna pivot out because chat's gonna be fucking weird about this. I knew better. Yeah, I knew better. Chat's gonna make this... We're gonna cut the... We're gonna cut this joke, editor. We're gonna cut this out. Okay. Chat is so annoying. I love when this happens. I hate it when this happens. I hate when chat gets weird. It's so annoying. Because I have to address it, right? When the chat story... I, I can't just ignore it. You made it weird? We'll just ignore this. Never mind. Chat, get right with the Lord. <laughs> chat is projecting. Why is chat to make it weird? Coney, this one is your fault. It's literally never my fault. It's on you. Okay, we're going to cut this whole bit out. <laughs> That's... That's fucked up, though. This is a good story, honestly. I just don't know how you can't tell. I, I feel like when I was in that grade, I was I was fearfully aware of my uh, anatomical state, of my physiology. <laughs> I would have I I would have found I would have rolled over. Actually, come to think of it, that would have been my play. I because it doesn't matter if you're face up or face down. I would have rolled my ass over. Just <laughs> would have hurt for a few minutes. I would have been fine. That would have definitely been the play. Just tuck it? No, because then everybody sees you reaching in. Right? Everybody's going to see you reaching in and it's going to be worse. You're going to make it worse for yourself. Because a lot of people probably didn't notice. That uh, that could be worse though. I I've done a lot of theater, 
and I've there have been people who have worn like leotards or like skin tight suits, whatever, and uh, or you know pantaloons or whatever they're called tights, and uh, it's it's been bad, it's been really bad. I don't know what they're called pantaloons. I don't know. There was this girl I really liked in school, and we'd been talking for months, and I finally got the courage Good to ask for you. her out. It was the best feeling ever as a kid, so we had planned to go out to our local Denny's the following Friday, and I was so pumped. So cool! I told everyone that I could. It was awesome. <laughs> you shouldn't have told everybody. So it's the Friday, and we're on the date, you and shouldn't it's have going told great, everybody. and she's amazing, and I feel amazing. Great! Food was all right at Stunny's, <laughs> and we're getting... And the food is amazing, because it's Denny again. <laughs> So it's the fr Throwing you that shade at Denny's is crazy. I can't believe you would do that. We love Denny's. Food is amazing. It's dead. Come on, man. <laughs> this is an IHOP ad at the very end. So it's the Friday, and we're getting That's real really close. Funny. And literally just as we're about to kiss, <gasps> she gets a text message and glances at it. And as we're millimeters away from kissing, she's gone. What? She ran out of the Denny's before I even opened my eyes. Oh, she's a superhero. <laughs> you're 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 dating Spider Girl. What the heck? This is an actual Spider Man moment. Kim Possible. <laughs> Did her beeper go off? Da, 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 da. What happened? She ran out of the Denny's before I even opened my eyes. Did someone die? I was mortified. It's only the Monday. When I find out what happens. Turns out her mom, who was the receptionist at school, had stolen $11,000 from the school from lunch money. Huh? Donations and the money raised from any raffles we hosted. That girl left the what school the and fuck? moved state. I never saw her again. What? What the fuck? Wait, so you were out on a date. She gets a beep on her phone and then she sprints away and you never see her again. Because she stole eleven thousand dollars from the school. What the fuck? That's insane. <laughs> that that girl was in on it. Somehow, her mom was like, "Honey, it's time. Code yellow. Code yellow. Sweetie, get home as quickly as possible. We're moving." <laughs> yeah. Wait. Did you have your wallet? Wait a minute. Wait, yeah. Did you pay? Wait, did, did you pay for the whole meal? Did you pay for the whole Denny's meal? <laughs> did she order the, the Grand Slam and Moons Over My Hammy? I think you may have been tricked, actually. This is an AWOL moment. Wait a minute. Learn from her mom. Yeah, they, they always become their mothers. They really do. <laughs> Good call, Top C. AWOL. Not, not really cringe, but good lord. What a terrible missed connection. I can't believe she couldn't kiss you and then go. This is like a movie. Had to move states immediately. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. What's crazy about this is that, uh, in this story... There was... So it's... And we're... She ran... I was more... Donation... That girl left the... Oh, hold on. I was mortified. She ran out of the den... I was mortified. It's only... The I saw eleven dollars. I was like, her mom was the receptionist who stole eleven dollars. I'm like, who cares? Petty crime. Who cares? That I don't. I don't. Uh. Why is this a big deal? And then he drops the donations thousand. and the money. Holy shit! That's crazy. That's a good one. You know, some some of them get away. You know what I mean? That was the one that got away. She was a wild one. Can't be tamed. At a college admissions prep course, I hit it off with a girl so much so that the tutors asked me afterwards if we were dating. Uh huh. Turns out she went to a boarding school in another state. Okay. And so she had to turn down my date request since she Aww. wasn't staying past the length of the course. That's sad. That weekend while cooking for a party, I fake pretended to get drunk on Lee Chi to send her a drunken rant. Why did, why did they capitalize it? What's, what's lychee wine? I don't know what that is. Okay. That weekend, about how sad I was that we couldn't pursue any sort of relationship. I think I sent 2,000 words. 
with references and citations. What? References and citations? You got drunk on wine and you sent a a, a, a paper? Like a like an actual like citated I, this this is so strange to me. An essay? <laughs> huh? A research paper? Huh? About how I'm sad so I was that we couldn't pursue any sort of relationship. I think I sent 2,000 words. MLA format and everything? And yeah. Citations. I was 16 and I still lie awake at night sometimes thinking about that poor girl. Wait, that's it? Uh, I mean... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a big deal. That's fine. I mean, you, 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 you admit your feelings for a girl that couldn't. It was. It, it wasn't meant to be. Your star-crossed lovers that could never be. That's all it was. And you were gonna send her a message. A lot of guys have done this. It's not that cringe. Pretending to be drunk is a little crazy, but I feel like that happens pretty often, right? Especially in high school. I'm sure like that happens all the time. People use as as an excuse, you know. That's fine. I mean, it's kind of cringe. It's not a big deal. It's fine. You don't know how to be in a relationship or to talk about your feelings or be vulnerable when you're that young. Everybody in chat that's being judgmental has done 10 times worse. You're fine. Not cringe. Enough. When I was in middle school, I thought Sonic was so cool. How do I have so many Sonic fans? Why are there so many Sonic fans in my chat? Hmm? What's going on here? When I was in middle school, I thought Sonic was so cool. I loved Blue. His attitude was ha 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 wow look at me I'm so fast and cool and for some reason I really liked it. You're not alone. I only ever played reason. Sonic 1 on the original Genesis oh, of wait my a grandparents <laughs> house. Wait a minute. But I watched a lot of Sonic X so oh, you can right. see why in my 6th grade brain I thought he was the coolest character. I was gonna say is this me? Wait a minute. Cause I was, I loved early Sonic. He's a boomer like you. I mean I thought so. I was like wait a minute. Early Sonic before he talked was my favorite. I fucking love Sonic the Hedgehog. I loved early Sonic until he started talking. Then you said Sonic X. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. I only ever played Sonic well as a child with an overactive imagination. I Not decided bad. to become more like Sonic. We could do a whole show on this. People wanting to be Sonic the Hedgehog. This seems to be a consistent running thread throughout Cringe Confessional. People that are like, I love Sonic and I want to be Sonic. And it's weird that it's always Sonic. It's never like Mario, Naruto. Like, it's always Sonic the Hedgehog. I think we had one Naruto run. That was early, like episode one or two. Okay, what happened? Well, I often quoted him and pitched my voice up to match his snarky voice of the early 2000s. I, I don't... Not too bad yet. I think every every school had a kid like this. We, I, I, I had a kid in my class that wanted to be called, like, Dark Magic or something. Um, He was also the kid that ate coins that I talked about before. He would wear, like, big trench coats, and he had the, the Leaf Village thing. I often, NNP, I thought I was the fastest kid there. So I thought, wow, I should run like him, too. Cool. During the fitness gram pacer test, uh -huh. I knelt down like a runner at the starting block. Mm -hmm. Then when I heard the ding, I leaped into the air, crossed my arms into an X, and shouted sonic speed. Then when I hit the ground, I would take off and Naruto run across the gym. <laughs> and I did this ever. <laughs> Single. Ding. Needless to say, I do not look back fondly on this point in my life. So every single time you would jump up and say Sonic Speed? I've never done the Fitness Grand Pacer test. I don't know the meme because it wasn't a thing when Still I was a, a Sonic kid. fan, though. Uh, Just not as much. You should. That's the cringe part. Obviously. Well, yeah, but you should. That's, that's still cringe. You should stop being a Sonic fan. Grow up. Wait, so... The fitness grip, is it that you run from one side of the gym to the other? Is that what you do? How many rounds do you do? 
you never did the beep test. I think I did the beep test, but they didn't say it was the fitness grand pacer test or whatever. I didn't have the intro. Is it the same thing? Time sprints that get faster. Okay. You go until you can't make it. <laughs> okay, but what if you were really fast? <laughs> Sonic speed! And then he does it, like, for half an hour. This kid just doesn't stop. Holy f You're like a savant. Sonic speed! <laughs> oh my god, dude. Some of my old classmates have gone up to 100? Good lord. Yeah, I feel like at some point you should sort of read the room, but maybe maybe the other kids thought it was really fucking cool. If nobody talked to you about it, they're like, damn, that, kid's, that kid fucks. That's a cool kid. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's a cool kid! Sonic speed! <laughs> oh, dude. Over and over all throughout the gym? Having two people compete was cool as fuck. I mean, if you kept hitting it, damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, it'd be another kid that pops the chaos control. I feel like some other kid in your class was probably a big Sonic fan too, and you probably made him very proud. You probably was very... You impressed them a lot. Well done. Congratulations. Imagine losing to the Sonic Speed kid. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to lose to anybody, you might as well make it to someone whose entire personality is just running fast. That's fine. I think it'd be worse if the Sonic kid got second. <laughs> Beating the Sonic Speed kid would feel amazing, though. I would say that. Also, I was right. The kid didn't name himself Dark Magic. I thought about it. He wanted to be called Dark Angel. His real name was Robert. But he got really mad if everybody called him Robert. He wanted to be called Dark Angel. That's so much worse. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought you wanted to know that. Yeah. Yeah. He was kind of like, uh, you know that guy in the TikToks, the there's no such thing as a coincidence guy? The guy in the woods with the hat. He was like that, but not cool. <laughs> it was kind of like that. When I was around 12, me and my cousin had a running joke where we pretended to almost spill our drinks on each other in church. <laughs> One day, the church had some going away okay. party for a preacher, so everyone was dressed up. <laughs> that, that actually sounds like kind of a funny bit. To keep running, because it's so unfunny. It's so stupid that I think it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> it's, oh, whoops. You just keep pretending like you're going to spill some. Ooh, whoa, oh, oh, my bad. <laughs> I can see that being funny. By the way, why more church posting? Huh? One day, the church had some going away party for Stop! a preacher. So everyone was dressed up. My cousin was wearing a really nice dress. And a shitload of perfume. Oh, I hate those. I have a cup of water and go to do our running bit. Yeah. But the perfume just assaults my nose so hard it immediately makes me sneeze. <laughs> Not only do I sneeze all over her face, I also <laughs> splash water all on the front of her dress. I panic. So instead of apologizing or doing literally anything anyone sane would do, I fucking run away back to my family <laughs> and don't mention it. Hope she Later, didn't notice. when her and her dad comes up and asks you me about it, oh my I God. panic again and immediately blurt out. Oh, there are so many out. layers. Nua, she peed herself, <laughs> which, obviously, no one believed. Speech check failed. How old were you? Twelve. You're too old for that response. She peed herself? I panicked again, and simply kept insisting that she just must have a problem with pissing herself because I couldn't just admit I fucked up. <laughs> I got what? grounded, and she <laughs> clearly didn't like talking to me after that. I, mean, I guess if you... You just gotta keep double da doubling down, right? It wasn't me. Bro, I don't know what happened. Check him daughter. Uh, she, that, she... Something is not normally. She be peeing, bro. I don't know what to tell you. You would have thought at some point she would have been like, All right, all right, my bad. <laughs> Maybe I did pee. Dude, that... Oh. I guess if, if you lie enough, eventually somebody will believe it. <laughs> At some point, you know, gaslight her into thinking she peed. Yeah, something, you know what I mean? 
something at some point. <laughs> Dude, I just thought yeah, this was surely in front of people. I don't know how you could get away with this. At some point, somebody's going to check the tapes. It's at a church. Oh, dude, lying in the house of God. Okay. When I was a young child, my mom took me to the grocery store with her. When we were at checkout, there was a Sikh man. Okay. I excitedly look to my mom and say very loudly, Look, mom, a fortune teller. Pointing at his turban. Oh! That's bad. Could be way worse. It could be way worse. It real. It actually could. It actually could be way worse. But still bad. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ow. Could have said genie. Genie, Genie, Genie is way worse. Genie is way worse. Okay, please continue. I excitedly look. My mom very quickly tries to shush me, telling me to be quiet. It was too late though, as the man turned around and says to her, I think he was talking about me, ma'am. I still remember my mom's bright red face. Bro, he owned it? He actually was like, yeah, I am a fortune teller. The fuck are you going to do about it? Oh my god. He knew that would happen. He for he it was foretold. <laughs> it was foreseen. He saw it in the stars. I knew you would say that. Dude, honestly, that would be the most based response. If he turned around like, ah, you must be Timothy. <laughs> that man's name? Zoltar. Ah, yes, Jared. I knew we would meet. <laughs> what a cool guy. That's really good. Honestly, that one's excellent because it's not even like... The cringe here isn't even really on you. I mean, it is, right? But on the parent. The parent feels humiliated here, right? The parent feels like they've failed. How do you even introduce these topics to a kid, right? And that we don't know the age here. It says a young child, but it depends on how old the kid is. What if the kid's like 11? I have, uh, I have somebody that I know, and I've told this story before, but uh, they, for some reason... When they were a kid, like a toddler, would laugh hysterically whenever they saw a black person. Which is quite curious. Why did they do that? Why is it funny? You told this story. What did I I just said that I've told this story before? Why 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 do you try to get me? Why are you trying to get me? Why I I said that I told it. And you said, hey, you've told this. That's why I said that I told it. Yeah, I don't know why, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know why, I, I, that's such a strange reaction, right? I meant it like, oh, I remember. Well, okay, I, I, I have said this before. I have said this before. Uh, apparently, that's a true thing. And that terrifies me. The idea that, like, I'll explain to my daughter, like, you know, um, this is a boy, this is a girl, this is, you know, white people, black people, you know, just, like, go down the line and, and everything. But, like, I forget one. You know what I mean? Like, I don't explain why Indian women, like, some of them have, you know, that. And then she's like, look, uh, I, I, what, uh, fuck, what am I gonna, gingers! Yeah, exactly! <laughs> like, what am I gonna, like, I don't know, it, it, fuck it, it, oh, man. There's so many things that could go wrong. A bindi? Oh, is that what it's called? Okay, there we go. I didn't know the name of it. See, I'm already behind! Fuck! <laughs> I don't even know! Oh, it's terrifying. What am I gonna do? 
terrifying. A bald lady? Yeah, see, like that's I think that's been on the stream before too. Oh man. Kids are just curious, not racist. Yeah, they they just they don't know. But then it's terrifying as a parent because you feel like you need to tell them all that stuff. I'm gonna meet a British person. And my daughter's just gonna fucking lose it. And then I'm gonna lose it. Actually, that's probably the worst situation. If she, if we run into a British person and she thinks it's funny, I will not be able to stop laughing. If she starts laughing at a British accent, I'm going to also die. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. Daddy, it's Peppa Pig. Oh my god. Okay. All right. I'm going to mention it. Uh I I haven't said this at all tonight. This is my first time mentioning it, guys. You guys ads might pop soon, but remember, you can't avoid them by dropping a Prime subscription. It's free. It's a free way to subscribe. We're almost at 2825, and then that means we're almost at, at 2900, and then we're almost at 3000. Look how close we are. If you guys could pop that Prime, go below the stream. You can subscribe for free. Thank you XL Coffee. And I'll just, I'll just, I don't normally do this. I'll name anybody. The Prime's right now. I'll shout it out. Thank you. It's Pap. See? Just like that for the six months. Thank you, Komoda. Good idea. So true. See? Neon lights. Thank you. Go ahead and pop that. It's right there. It's a nice subscription. First time this year he's asked this. Yeah, and I made it all the way to November. Ghosty night. See? X-Wing, FGC Armor, thank you so much. The begging worked. It always does. <laughs> I don't think it's begging. I think of it more like soliciting. By the way, watching on YouTube, did you know that subscriptions are free on this platform? I think it's a bug and they might fix it later. Go ahead and subscribe before they forget. Before, Go ahead and subscribe before they remember. Hit the red button quick. Otherwise, it's going to cost money to subscribe. Do it fast. Thanks, Wulu. Thank you very hard. Thank you, Lulu, for the gifties. Thank you so much. Free subs all over the place. Look at that. Thank you, Broken Cake. Dude, I still can't. I still can't believe that Elon eight dollar. I talked about it on stream yesterday. Fucking Elon Musk, that eight dollar like badge thing. What the fuck? Do not buy. Do not buy it. Thank you, Broken Cake. Thank you, Aces Green. Thank you for Ben Sun. Thank you, Great Bait Mate. Thank you. Unbelievable. Please, it's just eight dollars. <sighs> what is he thinking? Okay. Kona, you say that, but you've already bought it. Like I said, I will keep my check mark if I need it for sponsorship deals. If, if it makes people DM me for money, then I'm keeping it. If everybody else doesn't have it, I'm not going to have it. Or if Panda makes me keep it. We'll see. Have Panda pay for it? Yeah, I mean, it's like 100 bucks a year, right? I don't know. This is crazy. What is it? <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. What the fuck? What the fuck? I know it's ironic, but good lord. <laughs> How does someone like this exist? <laughs> oh, good fucking lord. Business genius, by the way. Uh, it's it's not ironic. It's definitely ironic. He knows it's not. I've I've posted Chad and Virgin memes before knowing that they're they're stupid. You know what I mean? I, it's ironic. He's being ironic. Let's be a little charitable. Come on. <laughs> okay. One time I was at a girl's house watching Markiplier. Cool! We had been good friends for a long time, around a year. 
We Girls were watching him play Tattletail, which was a horror indie game about furbies or something, <laughs> but I guess she thought it was a great time to try and hold my hand. However, she made one fatal mistake. D do people do this? Is this something, like, young people do? Like, instead of watching, like, movies or, like, Disney stuff, or you watch influencers? <laughs> watching Markiplier or Jacksepticeye to spark the romance? YouTuber date? <laughs> A fatal mistake. Good eye, chat. What the fuck? <laughs> what did she do? What happened? I had never felt the touch of a woman and my brain had no idea what to do when she kept motioning for me to hold her hand. Mm -hmm. I eventually came to the conclusion that she wanted a <laughs> high five so I made a swift high five and continued yeah! watching Mark Kiplayer. She started laughing like I knew what I had done. She motioned again and again trying to give me the most obvious hint of all time. Oh man. Oh. I high fived her 20 plus times before <laughs> I realized what she was actually trying to do. Needless to say, she didn't try to high-five me anymore after 20 that. 20 times? You're just clapping? Just... 20 times, dude? I feel like after 8. Surely after 8, do you know what's going on? At what? <laughs> playing patty cake? This is a Roger Rabbit moment. What the fuck? What? No, at some point, that's her fault. She should grab your hand. At some point, she grabs your hand and clasps it, and you go, Oh, that's her fault. That's unbelievable. Why would she keep trying? <laughs> you know what, though? You know what, though? I think I know the answer. Again, as we always say, you know? Uh, it seems like you were oblivious, but I think at the end of the day, she was trying to trick you. And I think that you got away from, uh, another one of her feminine wiles. As we know, all women often lie. She was never into you. And remember that as we exit this episode of Pitch Confessional. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> remember not to trust women no matter what. Never ever. They're always trying to get you. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> what an outro. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Hey, remember to go to church and never trust women. Everybody, I'll see you on Sunday. Can I get an amen in chat? Amen. You guys are going to be right there. Can I get an amen? Thanks for watching this episode of Critch Confessional, guys. We'll be on in the future. Subscribe, and you'll get more of this uh, great content in the future. If you guys want to buy my seminars, I can teach you uh, some self-help, how to up your self-esteem. There are 20 very low payments of only $35.99. You can check it out at Kony.gg. My self-help system will help you attract more women and have more confidence in yourself. You might want to go ahead and give that a look. Thanks for tuning in to Cringe Confessional. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> what a wild night. Thanks, Top C. I kind of like Top C. That's kind of fun. That's a fun... I, I kinda, I'm a fan, actually. I might pivot. Okay. Fun stream. Uh, Cringe Confessional is over. Let's find somebody to raid. Top Christian... What a night. Um, let's raid.